where is my there it goes like how do i turn this music off like i know like i enjoy it but i don't want this to go the whole stream but uh welcome welcome everybody um we're gonna change it up a little bit more because you know i'm a build channel so i think the very first portion of this stream i need to build some stuff for the base because uh just to kind of catch you guys up just kind of what happened over the past couple of days the base got hit by a purge and we got rocked by some rock noses. So, like, after that, I'm like, I, I, I need to get some stuff, you know, set up. So, that's probably what we're going to do the first uh, first portion of the stream. But, uh, welcome, everybody. Oh, it looks like we're getting a full house here. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's Dez. Major. Hey, good evening, Major. Sean, welcome, welcome. Uh, let's see what we got. Splash Cat's here. Man, a bunch of familiar names. Welcome, everybody. Um... And here we go. The sun's already going down. So I guess uh, I guess we're going to have to wait this one out in the night. Let's uh, turn on my little fire here. And actually, you know what? I need some more wood. Let's go grab some real quick before, uh, before we run out here and it gets too dark. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm going to tear down some of the buildings, get everything reorganized and uh, more consolidated so we're not spread out. And definitely need to get some walls up and maybe some palisades just to help protect. Because I'll tell you what, this rock nose that we fought the other day, it was bigger than my house. That thing was massive. It was like Godzilla. It was crazy. And uh, Mr. Snuggles ended up getting killed during the battle. And actually, we lost quite a quite a bit. Let's see. Major, did you remember to let your... Yeah, yeah dog has been let out. I'm hoping that uh, we won't get any more interruptions this stream. Let's see. Let's sit. Oop. Yeah, yeah, he, he got let out just right before stream, so he should be good, you know, for at least a couple hours, that is. Let's see, Circus Freak, I forgot to join the Discord. Well, join the Discord, what are you waiting on? I was going to say, right now, we're sitting around the fire, the, now's the perfect chance. Go join Discord. Splash Cat Studios, I wouldn't miss the stream, watching you play reminds me... Lots of when I first started Conan. Yeah, you know, and, and like I said before, I'm enjoying it so far, you know, because there's different ways to play Conan, but I think just like more of like a casual role play is probably the best, it, it, you know, with what they got right now, just how everything's set up. Uh, casual role play definitely seems to be the uh, the best when it comes to playing Conan. Give me two seconds, guys. What just happened? Oh, I was going to say, what just happened? It just went black, and I forgot. I harvested the wood, but I forgot to put the wood in the fire. That would probably help. Oh, there's wood in there. What is... That's weird. That just, like, randomly shut off. I wonder if that's, like, a bug or something. Let's see. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that was weird. I'm surprised that... Uh... Shut off when it did. Let's see. But, uh, sorry, sorry guys, I was like, got thrown off for a second. I was like, I was right in the middle of like a thought and then, you know, somebody hit me up on Discord and just like threw my brain all into a, like a, I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, so when it comes to like the, the casual role, role play, you know, I, I think just like right now, you know, like the PvE servers are probably the best. Maybe like even the PvE conflict is, is all right. But the, the PvP stuff, I just can't, I can't get into. And, you know, it's, it's funny because, you know, seeing everybody brag about the PvP stuff, there, you know, there's a lot of sweaties and tryhards is what I'm starting to realize when it comes, comes to them. Let's see, Circus Freak, the starting up is the best part for me. And you're having an RP for each playthrough keeps it new. Yeah, and you know, to be honest, and that's kind of what it is for me too. Just kind of setting up the base and just get, uh, getting established and everything is probably my favorite part. Because that, like I said in previous streams, uh, my issue is I build a base and you know it's just a mess. I just throw crap everywhere, and I, you know I plan on reorganizing it at some point. But uh, hold on one second. Everybody keeps hitting me up on Discord. I have to mute this because this is just. This is throwing me off right now. There we go. Um, but, uh, you know, I always plan on reorganizing everything, and then I never get around to it. I just move on, and I build a new base, because that's, like, my favorite thing to do. 
See, I enjoy casual RP. I find it hard to do more intense RP, but when you're into it, lots of fun. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, I tried like like the intense role play stuff, but uh, like the voice acting, and I, th- I was like, nah, it's it's too cringe for me at the moment. I I couldn't do it. You know, I I just I couldn't get into it. But like the casual RP stuff is fun. You know, just you know, just to sit back. You don't have to worry about anything. Just kind of enjoy the game. Uh, let's see. No dragons for major ha to kill in this game, right? Huh? I wonder. I wonder who MC Writers is. So, uh, so funny story. Now that uh, now that the cat's out of the bag, so uh, MC Writers in in Major, we all played Ark together, and uh, yeah, Major got my dragon killed. So I it, this has been years ago. I still haven't let him live that one down. He still owes me for that. But, uh, but yeah, he killed my dragon. Hey, what's up, Ninja? See, and it actually looks like the sun's coming up, so we can actually do some work here. I think the first thing I'm going to do is tear down Dez's house, because she's, uh, she moved up to the Highlands, so she established a Highlands base, which is going to make things a little bit easier for me when I, uh, when I make my runs up there. And actually, I think when we left off, uh, yep, I ended up running and grabbing some horses, so we're good on these, too. I'll get these placed as well. So now I'm, I can be mobile. I wonder where I'm going to place these, because I still need a saddle as well. But uh, I think for the meantime, just so they're safe, we'll just kind of throw them in my house. Just kind of throw them in here somewhere. Let's see. There we go. That looks like a good spot. Let's see. We'll put this one in here. Oh, yeah, and uh, th- I did make some new additions to the head wall, too. So I, I added him, and I think I added one other thing. I can't remember which, but, uh, yeah, that was all off stream. But other than that, you guys haven't missed much. I wish I would have caught that battle, that purge that we had the other night, because that was, that was crazy. I died like a million times because those rock noses were crazy. But that was, uh, that was a good battle. And actually, now I'm talking about the purge, I wonder where we're at. Okay, we're still, we're still a ways out, so that's, that's at least good. I owe you big. Yes. Yes, you do. Splash Cat. Oh, no. It's the worst when you accidentally kill someone else's tame. Yeah. And, well, and the thing was, I was like, ah, crap, it's dead. You know, it, it had some cargo on it. So I was like, I can go and I can, you know, uh, recover it. We couldn't find the body. So even though we lost all the cargo, too. I still remember that. But like I said, this is this is probably like three, four years ago. It's been a while. But uh, let's see. Before I tear this down... Ooh, man, this is quite a bit of demon blood. I wonder if Jingui will want this. Hey, Jingui, if you're watching, if you, if you need some demon blood, I could hook you up. I got quite a bit. Actually, there's some uh, there's some more resources that I can that I can take, but I think that should be it. What do we got over here? Nothing. Uh, take all? Nope. Yeah, this is gonna set me over the limit. We're going to have to slow walk it here in a second. Get this stuff dropped off uh, in my, my chests that are extremely organized. Are you duping? No, I am not duping. This is all legit. Uh, this is my first, like, actual legit playthrough of Conan. So, we're, you know, so far it's been all right. But uh, what I had to experience off screen for that purge, yeah, I, we definitely need some defenses on the base. 100% need some defenses. I'm good on demon blood for now. Okay, cool. I'll just kind of stash this so if anybody else needs it, whoever's in the server, I can hook you guys up. I might need some more chests because I've just been throwing crap in all these chests and they're all getting full. Let's drop that off. Get rid of these, uh, these iron ingots. That'll at least free up some stuff. Yeah, because I kind of want to consolidate the base just to make it all nice and snug just so it's just less to uh, less to, def- <clears throat> to defend because trying to defend it against those rock nodes, we were all over the place the other night. You know, I keep on getting tusks. I wonder if I, I wonder if you use the tusk to get the uh, the hog uh, trophy. What's it called? Uh, let's see. That's got to figure out where it's at. Maybe they don't have a trophy for it. 
Oh, it's a boar. Let's see here. Nope, it, it does require the head. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, because I keep on killing those wild boars and it, they're not giving me anything. I need, I definitely need to organize my inventory. This thing is, this thing is messy. Uh, let's throw that in there. Throw that in there. All right, that should work for now. I think we're good when it comes to tearing this down. Because this, this will give us quite a bit of materials for, uh, for our wall and whatnot. Dirty Sneak, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. You need a dedicated storage meal. I can do that. <laughs> well, if you would answer your private message. I'm going to be so encumbered once I get this whole thing do uh, done. Yeah, and I don't know why. Every time the purge triggers, it's always my base. I don't think we've had a single purge yet. That is hit anywhere else. It's always been my base. I can help making the walls, by the way. Cool. Yep, that'll work. Yeah, because definitely like the resource gathering and, and everything would definitely work. But I'm thinking, you know, for it, because I kind of want to add, because I think I'm going to take out these two things and add that, uh, that workshop that I just recently built that I did last stream. I think I'll put the workshop right here, and then we can turn that into like the community uh, workshop stuff so I can at least clean out my house. So my house isn't just an absolute mess. See, I'm also done building the main building of my place, decorating a bit now. Okay, nice. Nice. I was asleep until literally five minutes ago. Oh, okay, well, that explains that. Because I was going to say, answer your, uh, answer your Discord message. Let's see, where can I put this stuff? Actually, you know what? Hold the phone. I think I forgot to send it. Two seconds, guys. What was the password? Oh, yeah. M. Mortem. Oh, I'm late for stream. What's up, Arden? Hey, what's up, man? Welcome to the stream. Yeah, I'm seeing a bunch of familiar faces around. I'm, I'm glad that you guys are repeat viewers. Because I, I was worried that uh, as soon as I get on camera, you know, everybody like, would be like, Ugh, I don't know about him. And I just wouldn't get any views or anything. So I, I greatly appreciate you guys uh, continually, you know, tuning in. Oh, yeah, we got quite a bit of materials from that. I think what I'll do is I'll kind of mark most of the walls out with uh, actual foundations themselves. Yeah, that's what I'll do because I'll, I'll bring it right out to the... Uh, oh, now why did I do that? I put all the materials of wall making in the chest and I didn't have any to actually work on the wall. Let's see... There we go. That'll work. That'll at least get us somewhere. Uh, let's see. Building pieces? Yeah, because I was going to say, for a, for a building channel, I've barely built anything. So, I think, I think uh, we're due for a little bit of building now. And we'll just kind of run this all the way into the mountain. Yeah, that'll work. Scene. We're probably what we're probably gonna do add some uh, sandstone fence foundations. Oh, hello. Cause uh, oh yeah, another thing is during that purge that I was on the other day, uh, somebody dropped this like ridiculous star metal mace that just like absolutely destroys everything. So I was like, you know what? I'll take it. Anyway, back to this. We're gonna we're gonna or actually we're gonna triple up. So we're gonna do the fence foundations, an actual foundation, and then more fence foundations on the other side. So if the creatures break through. They're going to have to go through three th uh, three things. And to be honest, I don't know how well, you know, this is going to uh, this is going to hold. So, <laughs> you know, hopefully it does all right. And then I think what we'll do is I'll, you know, I'll place some more like uh, like like palisades or something 
along the outside. The ones with like the spikes. I think they inflict some damage or whatnot. Be grateful you don't have a face for radio. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, jeez. You guys are all ganging up on me here. You were the first thing I responded to. Yeah, you're right. You know, you probably responded right after I muted it because, like, everybody was hitting me up on Discord right as the stream started, and I was just like, oh, you guys are throwing me off. So, yeah, that'll work. So, we got the wall going. So, do we want some towers? Yeah, maybe, maybe we might do some towers. Oh, that was, oh, that was on your, that was on your thrall? Okay. You yeah, know, I thought it was just some random thing that died. So I was like, oh, sweet, I'll just pick this up. Well, I was going to say, if you want your mace back, I guess I can give it back to you. I don't want to give it up, but, uh, but I will. Let's see, how high do we want to build these walls? Maybe, because I don't want to go too high. Maybe this might be good enough. Just so, you know, just something. Just something to divide our base from, like, the next purge, because knowing my luck, I'm probably going to get hit with the purge again. Tripod. Conan Exiles live stream. That's new. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm uh, I'm, I'm starting an actual playthrough. Uh, this is, what, part four, I think? So I, I'm, I'm doing an actual playthrough from start to finish. But uh, we're going to take some, some little detours and whatnot, because normally, I, I don't know if you're familiar with, with the channel, but... Uh, Normally I do a lot of build stuff, so experiencing Conan the way it should be experienced, you know, this is all new to me. So I, I, I've done a couple of dungeons so far and experienced a couple of purges, but uh, but so far I've been, I've been enjoying the playthrough. So, but uh, but yeah, I, th I think the, you know, like I said earlier, you know, if you, if you weren't watching then, uh, this first part of stream, I, I gotta set up defenses because that last purge that rocked our base, uh, <laughs> I was like, I, I don't want that happening again. But, uh, but yeah, I, I plan to do the, uh, the complete playthrough, and, and so far what I've been doing, it's been every, every other night. I've been starting at 7 p.m., so, you know, if this is something that you're interested in, you know, uh, probably, what's tonight? Saturday? Probably Monday night will be my next, uh, my next stream. Let's see, can I climb up here? Now that I'm over, how over encumbered am I? Oh, okay, we're almost there. So I guess I can throw these on real quick. Wait, I just noticed you're wearing a hat. Is that to prevent the alfalfa? Yeah, that's exactly it. Actually, you know what? I've just been kind of a lazy bum all day, and I was just like, you know what? I don't feel like getting ready for stream. I'm just going to throw on a hat and then just call it good. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's dual purpose. It covers the alfalfa hair as well. So, uh, yeah, that, that's exactly we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Let's see, tripod. I've seen some of your videos before, yeah. I asked for some old blueprints recently, and you broke. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, now that I now that I got a Patreon, you know, I moved all my uh, all my blueprints over to Patreon because uh, at this point in time, like, because like right now, I don't really have a full time job, and I'm kind of strapped for cash. <laughs> so it's just like you know, I, I wanted to I wanted to monetize my channel the least amount. You know, that would actually affect a build. So I, I figured with the, the schematics and whatnot, because will you climb up the wall, please? There we go. Uh, with the schematics, it's more of just uh, more of a convenience thing because the new schematics have the, uh, the piece counts to them as well. So you, get, you have a base uh, like picture of like what the bottom of the layout is going to be. And then you have the piece counts to kind of give you an idea of how big the build is. Because I know like some people that build, they'll play in like the actual RP servers to where they're limited to X amount of pieces and everything. And I was like, well, you know, if I add the piece counts and the layouts, that doesn't actually take away from the builds. Because all the information you really need is, you know, is actually just watching the videos. But like the layouts and the piece counts make things a little easier. But they don't affect, you know, the end, the end product. So that's, that's kind of the route that I took in... Uh, uh, why I decided to go just with those. But uh, I, I didn't want to monetize anything that would take away from the actual build itself. But uh, but yeah, if you guys don't know that I have a Patreon, I now have a Patreon. So uh, if that's something you guys are interested in, I uh, originally I wanted to set it for like a dollar. 
because like a dollar a month gets you access to like the schematics and everything and some extra stuff that I'm still working on. But Patreon's like, yeah, no, you can't do a dollar. It has to be a minimum of, of three. I was like, ah, three's kind of steep. So I, I apologize, guys. But yeah, it's, it's three bucks a month for, for Patreon. If you guys don't want to subscribe, I, I completely understand. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's kind of uh, how that's going at the moment. Let's see. So I think what we'll do is, because we'll, we'll probably put a bridge that goes right. Dang, I wish that that hill was just a little bit further over. I guess that's all right. Yeah, we'll do like a, like a bridge like right here. Yeah, that'll work. So that means we're going to need to do... Where do I want to start it? Actually, we're going to start it here. Yeah, that'll work. And then the bridge will go just right up, right across the uh, river. And maybe that'll despawn those crocs that spawn on the other side too. Because those things are a pain every now and again. So that's going to be lined up. So that means we got to go here. And actually, yeah, these crocs are always getting in the way. See, I noticed something was missing from Discord server. I, yeah, yeah, no, that's uh, that was exactly what happened. I was like, you know, now that I'm monetized, I got to get everything moved over. And you know, and it's it sucks, but like I said, you know, I'm kind of hurting for money at the moment. So uh, that that was kind of uh, at least I'm hoping that you know that was kind of a, a temporary fix. Let's see here. Yeah, because we'll do two towers, and then the bridge will just go right across. And I wanted to do something fancy. I don't know if I if I want to still do something fancy with the bridge, or if I just want to do something basic. I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, let's see. I think for stream, I might just do something basic for for the bridge itself, just so I can at least have have something. You can add the Patreon button, I think, to YouTube. I think you're right. I don't know how to add the stuff to live stream because I've noticed like there's like donate buttons and stuff that other streamers have set up. But like I tried looking all that stuff up and like there's no good videos that I've run across that explain that. But yeah, I, I think you're right. Um, I know I can add one to my actual uh, YouTube channel page, but just to be honest, I've just been kind of lazy. So I just haven't gotten around to post the link yet. But, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. Yeah, that'll work. So then we'll probably I think what I'll what I'll do. Yeah, we're gonna foundation step this down a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna lower it. We're gonna lower this quite a bit. Oh, yeah, those pillars are kind of obstructing me here. Let's see. Don't feel ashamed to plug your Patreon, man. Get your grift on. Exactly, man. I, I got to get the grift on. Yeah, and actually, like, right now, like, I especially, I especially have to get it done because, like, I just found some out some bad news about some plumbing work at our house. Like, we got to get a whole new uh, uh, line of plumbing uh, put in. And so far, I've only gotten one estimate so far, but it's not sounding good. They're like, yeah, I can do it for about five grand. It's like, oh, where am I going to come up with that money? So, yeah, like I said, at this point in time, it's like, you know, anything that I can, can get right now to kind of offset because everything's just kind of hit me all at the same time. And it's just, it hasn't been good. So you're going to get some food, be back playing soon. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll see you here in a bit, Des. I don't think uh, we're going to get hit with the purge anytime soon, so... That you know what that looks good. I think I think we'll go that high. Or maybe not. Hold up here. Let's see. Maybe we can sink some of this stuff into the ground. Yeah, that'll work.
Yep, that'll work perfect. All right, I said I wasn't going to get it fancy, but here we are getting fancy. So... <laughs> Yep, sounds like a plumber to me. Yeah, it's... And to be honest, it's, it is going to be a job because I was talking to him and he's like, yeah, I got to tear out, you know, all this stuff. And they got to dig out uh, one uh, the line on the outside as well. And I'm like, you know what? That's, you know, I, I can do like basic stuff, but I'm like, that's just something that I just... A little bit beyond my skill set. So I was like, I'll just pay the expert to do it. But uh, I got others that are supposed to be calling me. I'm hoping I can get a cheaper cheaper quote because like I said, 5000 is is still quite a bit. You know what? We're going to lower this one more. We're going to go at this height. And then we can just do stairs right here. Yeah, this will work. And then we'll probably raise it one more when we uh when we get out across the river. Yeah, so we'll put the stairs in. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Then we'll do like, uh, these will be towers, and then we'll kind of link them up, and this will just kind of shoot across, so to where, like, this is at least, you know, secure and everything, but, uh, we're gonna have to raise the foundation, so in order to, in order to do this a quick way, if you place a, uh, a fence, and you go with a, uh, a wedge foundation, it raises it two clicks, so what we'll have to do is we'll delete this, Oop. and then we'll place another fence foundation, but we'll sink it down one, and then that should give us the height that we're looking for. Just FYI, if you guys ever, uh, you know, ever need to raise something, that that's how you do it. So yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go this route. And actually, let's see here. So if we go one, two, one, two, three, one, two, and then one, one, yeah, that'll work. Let's see, what are we missing? Probably stone. Yep. I knew we were going to be missing stone. So, let's see. Actually, you know what? We're going to keep it like this. And we're going to... You know what? We're going to raise it one more time. Yeah, we're getting real fancy, guys. Oop. Uh, let's see. There's the wedge piece. See, can I lower it without deleting anything? Oh, perfect. Oop. Yeah, and then we'll go probably two out from here. Yeah, because we're going to delete those. Because I think what I'm going to do... Let's see. If we go... These. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to replace everything just so everything is the same color. Then we're going to have to attach on the other side. Oh, you know what? Before I get too into it, let's uh, let's grab some more stone real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of chillax a bit too. I've been working on my secret project. I finally started recording that. I got most of it, uh, most of it figured out. So, uh, let's see. What can I drop? Let's drop these. There we go. Um, I've been I've been recording a lot of that today. So just like leaning forward, it's just been killing my back. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna chill out here for for a little bit, and kind of kick back and relax. Dang, we're gonna have to raise it again. Uh, let's see. All right, perfect. Yeah, cause this is gonna be the highest we're gonna raise it. And you know what? I forgot which way. These were facing, so let's tear these down real quick. And we'll go... Yeah, we'll face towards my base, just so I can remember it. Alright, so there's that. Looking pretty good. Yeah, I, I told myself I wasn't going to get fancy. And then here I am getting fancy. Alright, so then we can go 
here. Oh yeah, that's right. So we're going to place these sides on. And then we're going to use these... Uh, whatever these pieces are. These, this rough timber. Like these archway walls. I, I love that they added those. So we're going to use that for uh, the underneath for this bridge. Kind of give it the illusion that there's uh, the ability for water to flow through. It's all or nothing. Exactly. Alright, so one, two... You know what? Instead, I wonder... Let's see. Where's the rough timber? I wonder if the rough timber wall will look nice. You know what? That looks good. We're going to go with that. Just on the sides. For in here, it'll still be our foundation stones. Yeah, that'll work. I think I designed a bridge similar for uh, the showcase for one of... Uh, actually, it was for this house that I did uh, a while back. I think it's uh, a, a very similar of uh, the bridge that I did. All right, so now I've got to come down a little bit. I was hoping to get this done before the, uh, before the sun went down, but uh, that's all right, I guess. All right. Uh, let's see. We're going to need... So that's going to face towards the base. We expect nothing less than fancy. I owe it to you guys. And yeah, we're definitely going to need some torches too to light up this place. Maybe some standing torches. Ninja, if you're, if you're watching, if you can throw together some standing torches, I'd appreciate it. Just so we can get this thing lit up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking that bridge a lot. Nice trucker hat. Appreciate it. It's my Fallout hat. I love this thing. I can't even remember where I got this. I, ended up, I think I found it in a store, so I can't remember. But, uh, yeah, it's a little vault -Tec hat. I was like, oh, that is awesome. You know, normally we do uh, story time around the fire uh, pit, but we got some building to do. And I, uh, I want this base, like, combat ready for the next purge, so... Here I'm wasting a bunch of valuable resources on a bridge that absolutely does nothing except look nice. But you know what? Priorities. Priorities. Yeah, when's the cone hat coming? Uh, you know, it's it was shipped from uh, from England, so it should be here at any, any point in time. They said, uh, I think it was supposed to be delivered like February 1st, between February 1st and, uh, and the 10th. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Because I ordered it from Amazon, but the bad part is... It doesn't give me any shipping details on, like, if it if it's, you know, cleared customs or anything. So I'm just kind of just just waiting, you know, <laughs> seeing, you know, when, when it's going to turn up. Oh, no. Can I not sink it down right here? Let's see. Let's delete. Dang. Well, that sucks. Oh, we might have some issues on this end. Let's see, can we sink it down over here, maybe? Nope. Darn. Huh. Well, you know what? Let's get fancy here. Let's see. Let's chop you down. We'll do like two little itty-bitty itty-bitty towers over here. 
And actually, you know what? I wonder what you need to make for the bridges. Because that would be a pretty cool thing to tie in. If I got it unlocked. Let's see. Bridge. Crafted with the construction hammer. Okay, so I can build it. Oop. Under special, maybe? Nope. Oh, here we go. Bridges. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, those don't take much, actually. All right, yeah. So we're going to go this route, then. This will work. Just use stairs there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. Um, I just kind of wanted... The issue was I wanted these, uh, these fence pieces to kind of sink down one more to kind of give it, like, the archway look. To kind of at least mirror the other side. But actually, now that I'm looking at it, it comes down one... Oh yeah, so this will work out perfectly. So I'll, so we'll go with these these newer towers right here, and then I'll connect it with the bridge. And yeah, this will work. Yeah, this will definitely work. Itty bitty tower committee. <laughs> Jeez, old feet. <laughs> oh, we got like fancy, fancy ones going on here. Jeez, OP. I, I need to get used to, like, the mouse and keyboard. Just trying to press buttons and remember which buttons are which. Murder of Crows. Hello, everyone. Hello, Barton. Hey, what's up, Murder? Welcome to the, uh, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, according to my son, you could only add a link about page since you aren't a partner with YouTube yet. No, I'm pretty certain I'm a... Because I'm part of the, uh, the YouTube partnership, I thought... Because isn't it like uh, it once you get a thousand subs and you have like X amount of watch time hours where you become monetized? Isn't that like being part of the uh, the partner program, or is that something completely different? Because because I am monetized, I don't I don't make a whole lot, you know, off of the the views. I, I make a penny for uh, every four views I get on my channel. So <laughs> yeah, I, I don't make really anything. There we go. Yeah, that'll work. Do we want to go up? Yeah, we're going to go up. Yeah, this will this will work. We'll just do like a decorative bridge going across. Yeah, something like that, and then we could just do some like towers, maybe some flags here. Yeah, this will yeah this will be perfect. Uh, let's see, where is there we go. All right, I think the wooden ones would probably look the best. Yeah, I, I hate how the game glitches sometimes. It's like, come on, man. Like, you, I like I have to remember to hold the space bar down because if I forget to hold the space bar down and it glitches, like, sometimes that could be really bad. I think I almost fell off the uh, the the Tower of Bats, <laughs> the one stream, because I, I forgot to hold down the space bar. It's like Twitch. You have a basic monetization affiliate on Twitch. Being a partner means verification on YouTube. Oh, I wonder how I can do that. Like, do you guys know what the... Uh, what the requirements for that is. Because I, I would think that I would meet them. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. If, if somebody in chat knows what the, uh, what, uh, what it requires to be that, I, I'm, I'm curious. Because, you know, like I said, I would like to have all that stuff added to, uh, uh, especially to my live streams and stuff. That would be awesome. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe do some flags and everything. I'm liking it. Yep, that is yep, that is perfect. I think I got two two banners I can place. They're in one of my chests. Now here's the other issue because I throw everything everywhere and I don't even pay attention to where I'm putting the stuff. We're gonna have to go looking through a couple of chests here. Oh, actually I lied. Right in the first chest. Look at that. We are our luck is starting to turn around here. Oh, 
Oh, oop, wrong button. Oh, you know what? We could even do these wall rims. I love the fact that they added these things. This just adds so much more like texture and whatnot to a build. Uh, the one that I'm working on right now, I'm working on uh, some walls for this uh, this project, and these wall rims just make those walls look just that much better. All right, here we go. Oop. Oh, this is perfect. Who knows, maybe this stream will just be all about, uh, all about building. This might be a lame stream, who knows. Maybe, maybe we'll do a dungeon, because I, I can see myself getting bored, bored of this and, you know, wanting to go kill some stuff. But here we go, let's see, let's see what this looks like from a distance. Yeah, that'll work, I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So you might change this stuff out with actual, uh, it's the rough timber stuff. Yeah, that'll work. Just to kind of make it uniform all the way across the, uh, the river. And actually, you know what? Let's add, uh, let's take a quick peek in here to see... I can't remember if I have a, uh, I sure don't. We're going to add some foundations. Just, you know, so if the uh, purge does, does get triggered, you know, I don't want anything spawning in my base because that is just, that would not be good at all. So we'll just kind of place some stuff that's easy, easily accessible. So if it does trigger a purge, you know, we're good. But, uh, but I do like that. Yeah, we're going to go with that. I think once we get our, like, main city walls down, this is going to be pretty, pretty legit. Oh, dang, all you guys are joining the Discord. Nice. I sent you a DM on Discord about how to get verified. Okay, perfect. I appreciate it, Dirty. I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll check that out after stream because, like I said, that's something that I probably should uh, should get. That would make sense to me at least. See, but you don't just do building. You are building, LOL. It's not a Barden vid without building something. Exactly. But you know what? I don't think... I think the last two streams for my Let's Play, I don't think I did any building. So, uh... So, yeah. This is a different change of pace for the Let's Play, uh... Videos. We're gonna go up one more here. We gotta leave those, because those are overhanging. What am I missing? Oh, we're actually missing wood here. Uh, let's see. And we probably need more stone. Yep, we're right on the line for encumbrance. I, re I really need to reset my skills. Because my, my skill tree right now, or whatever, my attributes is, are just horrible. Just out the line. That'll work. Oh, come on now. Maybe first, yeah, first person. Yeah, see, it's weird because, like, I play in third person for my playthroughs, but I'm so used to playing in first person when I'm actually building. Let's see. Oh, you know what? These need to get deleted. This needs to get built up, because this is going to be one of our towers. Uh, let's put a door on this. I think this might be a good spot. Yeah, that'll work, because what I can do... Do some stairs here. Uh, let's see. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I think... Well, you know what? That'll work. That's good enough. 
kind of add some of this stuff back here. Because this will link up to, like, the back of the house. So this is, like, a nice little back alley. And then we could use this. Oop. Use this door to get up onto the roof. So we'll do, like, like, some ladders and whatnot here in a second. Actually, you know what? No, I'm here. I might as well just do them now. Rather than talk about it, might as well just do them. Uh, let's see. Hatch frame. I think it's under special. Ooh, just enough resources to make the ladders. Let's see, what do I need for those? Br okay, branches. So we're not missing out on anything. This reminds me of our days playing No Man's Sky. Yeah, you know, and that's, you know, I, I, I want to get back into that game. But now that i got a gaming PC, like, I'm going to have to rebuy it. And I just don't have the money to rebuy No Man's Sky at the moment uh, for PC. But that's something I kind of want to do some uh, some content on. Because the building in that is just awesome, too. And I, I love just how unique the worlds and stuff are. Oop. Let's see. That'll work. Maybe we'll do a uh, a tower here, maybe? Yeah, right where this kind of juts out. That might look cool. But you know what? We need to get our railings up. Shh, just go with it. Yeah, one purge, I had a mammoth and a few people spawn inside our base. It was terrifying to be cooking and suddenly angry mammoth. You know, and that's my biggest fear. Especially, like, that rock nose that we fought the other night. I, I, I'm not even exaggerating. That thing was probably, I don't know, it was probably twice the size of my house. It, it was taller than, than Ninja's base. It was crazy. It, it looked like Godzilla. I'm like, oh my gosh, we are so dead. And uh, we couldn't kill it, so we ended up just running the clock out, and it, and it finally retreated. So we were just kind of kiting it around a little bit. We killed everything else, but uh, we, we couldn't kill that thing. It was crazy. Oh. Uh, let's see. You know what? I don't like this ladder and stuff here. We're going to move this up. Yeah, we're going to move that up to here. So we can put a door. Because we'll do the ladder thing again going out across uh, to the other tower. So we'll have to do a door here. When's the last time you've played No Man's Sky? Oh, man, it's been probably a year. You know, I because I, I would hop in from time to time to check, like, the, see the updates and whatnot. Because I've been waiting for them to add, like... The ship customization. Because, like, I was tired of having to go ship uh, farm and, like, just fly into different sectors and hit up the, uh, like, the main Nexus hub to see what ships fly in. I just kind of, you know, you know, I was looking for something that looked like an X-Wing. But I did find one that looked like a TIE Fighter that was pretty cool. It was, like, an exploration ship. I found one that looked like a TIE Fighter. And I found one that came close to, uh, to an X-Wing. But it wasn't, like, spot on. It was, there were still pieces that I know other ships have that I wanted on this one. But I've just been kind of waiting for them to add that customization option in before I uh, I get back into the swing of things. Let's see what that looks like. Because that might be good, guys. Or do I want to go up one more? You know what? Yeah, that doesn't look like a, much of a tower. We're going to go up one more. That'll work. Oh, I almost fell in the hole. We can add some fancy doors. Uh, let's see. Actually, do I want to put those cheap bridges across, or do I want to do an actual... I don't know. We're going to have to check this out here in a sec. Come on now. There we go. Let's see, we'll face these outwards. Maybe do a fence on top and then use awnings as a roof. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know. I, see, I'm, I'm trying to keep more of like a theme with like, like the flat tops to where, you know, it's just like cubes stacked on cubes. But uh, I kind of like, kind of like the look of that. 
That'll work. We need to add in our uh, our ladder before I forget. Yeah, the thing with the, like the awnings, there's still like a like a little itty bitty gap uh, when when you place them. They're depending on the fence that is. There's some other fences that you know will cover that, but there's others that don't. You know what? We're going to have it open the other way. Yep, that'll work. That will work. I'm, I might need to add stairs. Maybe I'll add stairs leading up over here. But yeah, I'm thinking another tower, maybe. Like right here. Uh, let's see. Do I get the resources for it? Oh, I sure do. Actually, you know what? We're probably going to have to add some uh, some pillars just so that uh, if I can get up here. Come on now. Oh, my goodness. We might be trapped, guys. This might be it. This might be the stream. Oh, there we go. Yeah, just so that can have just kind of some extra, uh, extra supports. Before I get trapped again, and yeah, we're gonna hop out of that. Let's see. Let's see what that looks like. Cause that might be cool having like, yeah, more than one tower. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, once we get once we get these uh, these palisades and whatnot going, yeah, this is gonna look sweet. This is gonna look real cool. Momzilla. Uh, let's see. How are we doing on wood? 100 pieces. Yeah, I might, as, might as well grab those. I'm hoping that this will be enough for us to at least get this uh, this other tower done. Yeah, I don't know what it is. For right now, my guy does not want to uh, to climb very well. Right, that'll work. Let's see, fancy door. Add another fancy door here. Yeah, I think we're going to have enough, guys, to complete this tower as well. I kind of want to add, like, the banners, the standing banners on top of these, but we'll get those at some point. You know, I'm not I'm not in a rush to get those at the moment. Let's see. Also when climbing, try holding down space bar or whatever your jump key is while going over the ledge. Usually it reduces the fall. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Cause like sometimes when it glitches and if you're not holding the space bar down, you're screwed. Right, so we'll add the fancy doors on the here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I wonder what this this looks like. Yeah, I definitely want to add some stairs. Maybe we could do like some like a stairway like up on, you know, this little ledge and then it just kind of goes up here. Actually, you know what? Here I am talking about it. Might as well just do it, you know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we are spending unnecessary resources on unnecessary things. Uh, let's see. Here's the stairs. Probably round it. 
Uh, what's that look like? Where do these stairs go? Dang. Uh, you know what? We'll come back to this. Yeah, we'll come back to this. Th this will work for the for the meantime. It's necessary spending if it makes it look prettier. Exactly, guys. It has to look good because looking good is better than it being strategically sound. Remember that. Making it look good is way more important. Way more important. You know, I think when the purge spawns, it's going to see the base. It's going to be like, that base looks too good. We don't want to destroy that. I, I, that's my strategy, that is. Yeah, I'm liking those walls. I wonder, you know, I wonder what it looks like when we get to the top of the hill. That'll look awesome. Yeah, Ninja, your uh, your base is gonna get in the way of the wall, dude. So we might have to cut, we might have to cut into your base a little bit. And I was gonna say we might have to redo it to where your base is actually on the same grid pattern as like the house and everything as well. The Mirage of Form and Function. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, this is definitely Ninja. I need you to, I need you to start cutting away at the base. Yeah, this is running right into it. I was gonna say if you wanna if you wanna start building on off you know off these walls and stuff just so we're on the same grid, that makes sense. And then I'll just wrap the base around with what you know with what you, uh, where you built. And actually, you know what? Bef before I started these walls, I probably should have built that foundry or or the workshop. But you know what? We've gone too far. We might as well just keep on powering through this. So let's see here. So we're going to have to do... Let's see. Yeah, we're going to go this way. Yeah, because we're, we're rotating them because how the wood is going. I kind of want like this overhang a little bit. You know, just a little bit more added texture. And then we're going to have... What's that look like? That looks all right. Let's see what we got with this. Then have these windows. Can't you just use triangles? No, we have to go right in. We have to go like right, like just straight through. We just got to power through it. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna look that's gonna look so good. Actually, you know what? Can we build see I wonder is there decorative? Or do I gotta build those? I think I have to build those in the uh the artisan bench. Cause we can get, we can do those uh those decorative beams. Uh, let's see. Decorative. Okay, they're not here. Maybe they're over in this thing. They are. Okay, so we need twine. I know I have a million of them somewhere. Oh yeah, 500? Yep, that'll work. This will get the job done. Uh, let's see. I was going to say, where's my twine? Actually, you know what? Let's split this. Yeah, we'll split it one more time. I'll just hang on to 140 because uh, I'm sure we're going to need some. And we need wood. What? This will work, because this will this will add just you know, just more decorative stuff to make it look more like a gatehouse. And you know the one thing is that I wish, I wish that the sandstone set actually had an actual gate piece. Like that would have been awesome. And then on top of it, I wish they had crenellations as well. There we go. The sun's going down, so we're going to get to see what these, uh, uh, this, this lighting and everything, how it's going to look. This is going to be awesome. Just take screenshots of the, oh, we, we crawled up the, uh, the ladder the wrong way. Let's try this again. Let's see. Incorporating that other building into the wall would look sweet for sure. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. 
Let's see. LOL, poor ninja. Hey, you know everything you just did? Well, we're going to need you to undo it. <laughs> that's my bad. You know, that's, that is the risk that you take for building around around my base for right now especially for like the streaming stuff so i don't know to kind of give you guys like an idea of like uh like the server rules oh crap i need more wood um so like if you decide to set up your base around my streaming base uh you're allowed to build and everything and do whatever you need to do while i'm streaming but like as soon as i'm done streaming like everything in the immediate area of my streaming base has to stop because like I don't want to end the stream and then when I come back and I walk outside my house all of a sudden it's like boom you know massive city tier three stuff to where like all you guys are like what the heck just happened so so I was like you know you know building near me that's that's the risk that you take looking good could be intimidating yeah you know the tier one stuff is definitely intimidating I would have to agree 100%. Let's see here. Oop. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's. Now I'm out of stone. I should have grabbed stone while I was there. Dog must be sleeping. No, the dog is hanging out in the living room right now. And I ended up closing my door so, like, the dog can't get back here to bug me. And, but, you know, because, like, he doesn't really bark a whole lot. Like, if, if he's barking, like, there's either somebody, you know, at the door or he's seeing something outside that he doesn't like. But uh, for the most part, he's, like, he's really calm, collected, quiet. Like, you know, he, he's probably the best dog that I've had. But uh, I'm like, you know what, while I'm streaming, I am definitely closing the door. Because I don't want him coming back in and wanting to... Oh, jeez, oh, Pete, I did it again. Uh, I just don't want him coming back in and, you know, buttoning on the stream. But I think at some point, like, if I ever get money, I want to buy a camera that I can put, like, at the back door. So that I could change over. And it'll just be, like, the dog the uh, the dog camera. So if he comes in and, want, and needs to go out or wants to talk, I can just, like, change the camera over to him so you guys can see him. But uh, that's that's probably still still a ways out before I have the uh, the ability to do that. Hmm. I like what I'm doing, but I feel like I might need some external feedback on my place. LOL. Well, you know what? I think uh, that might be a quest at some point, Jingui. I might have to take a uh, an adventure over to your base to give you some uh, some building pointers. Because, you know, this this isn't a building channel just to be a building... Yeah, I'm saying that, right? Yeah. This... Yeah, this is a building channel, so we're going to do building channel things. Yeah, we'll go with that. That'll work. Uh, let's see. We need to do the wooden stuff up here. All right. Oh, you know what? We got to add fences here too and we could probably even do like an entryway above this as well maybe you know what yeah we could do doors right here and then yeah crenellations gates and also yes two by two gates i think every build set needs two by two gates that would be awesome that 2x2 uh, two two gate that they released for the uh, the uh, Stormglass stuff, that was that was a good piece for sure. The game in general needs more 2x2 two two doors. They are perfect size for a lot of builds. Exactly. You know, and it's crazy because, like, you either got something that's too small or something that's too large. You don't got, like, anything, like, mid-ground at all. But you know what? These, these pots, these, these lights are, are doing the trick. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. We'll have to, like, you know, light up the walls and everything at some point, but... We'll get there when we get there. He'll bark if it's snowing. He he definitely will. And that's the thing. With him being husky, he loves the snow. So if he sees that it starts snowing, he wants to go outside. And it's just like, no, dude. Like, you were just out. Because he'll go out for like 30 minutes, 45 minutes. 
and then he'll want to come inside real quick so he could warm up. And he'll be inside for about five to ten minutes, and then he'll want to go back outside again. It's like, dude, and it'll be like that all through the winter time. It gets so annoying. And luckily, we've lucked out for the most part. You know, we uh, we haven't had a whole lot of snow in our area for him to, you know, constantly wanting to go out. But I'm sure, I'm sure within the next couple weeks, we'll probably start getting blasted again. We heard what you meant, not what you said. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, you know, I, I just make stuff up, make stuff up as I go. So if I just say a saying that just doesn't make sense, we'll just go with it. You know, screw it. We'll just, we'll just go with it. I have a build in mind, but saving it for a special occasion. Okay. All right. I like spoilers, so message me in Discord. I'm curious. Uh, let's see. Well, you know what? I guess we'll wait out the... Uh... Oh, we need more wood. Let's see here. I don't want to tap into that. You know, I think I forgot to turn off the fire when, uh, when we left the one time. So that fire pit was probably burdened for a couple of days. Oh, you know what? I need some, uh, I need some water, too. Let's see. And some food. Holy cow. Oh, you know what? I think I can eat gruel, right? Oh, that actually gives water, too. Nice. Let's see. I would recommend using radium wall torches with light yellow dye for lighting the walls. Saves FPS because they don't have flame effect and looks close enough to fire color hide them with banners Ooh, that's a good idea that's a really good idea yeah because i was gonna say i don't want to lag the uh the server i was gonna say right now we don't have too many builds to lag to worry about lagging the server but yeah to kind of just keep server stability in mind that's not a half bad idea yeah guys i'm liking this we'll, ha we'll add some more banners right here some banners uh on the gates yeah this will this will be awesome Let's see who do we got here oh Hey, hey. What up, what up? I need to get used to, like, hitting the T button to communicate. Let's see, uh-oh. I gotta check the settings. Is the settings, can they talk? Or am I the only one allowed to talk again? Did I forget to change that? Uh, let's see. Chat. Chat has global. Okay, yeah, I think that works. Oh. Welcome to our mess of a city at the moment. It is, uh, it's a work in progress. Yeah, we're gonna have to clear this stuff out, too. We're gonna have to move this somewhere. Because this is, like, right in the way of our, like, main, main, uh, roadway. Because we'll have a roadway that comes in and it'll tee up, like, up here. Maybe I'll do the, uh, the actual, the workshop, like, over here or something. Maybe where, like, Dez's house is. I was going to say, you can try, but I think we're going to have to cut into your base. <laughs> he's going to hate me. He's going to hate me so much. <laughs> he's going he's gonna to quit. He's going to stop playing. <laughs> See, boy, do I have my work cut out for me learning how to build in this game. Yes. Uh, it's easier than Ark, though. I, I think you'll have an easier time learning because the Ark stuff was, was crazy. Okay, I'm back from dinner. Time to find some friends. We're just building right now, Des, so it's it's probably going to be a bit. We're, we're fortifying our base, and we're kind of, like, consolidating everything to where if we get hit with the purge, everything's just, you know, right here and fortified. We don't have to worry about covering a whole lot of ground like we had to uh, the last purge. Evening, evening. Let's see, voice is all good. Okay, perfect. I look forward to assisting. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, right now we're just kind of gathering, uh, materials. And, uh, you know what? Let me, uh, let me open up my, my door to my house. Let me leave this open. Let's see. There we go. So that's opened. And then I'll unlock these boxes right here. So if you want to, like, just throw stuff in these. And we might need more boxes because you guys are harvesting more, more stuff than, uh, than what I'm burning through right now. Like, you guys are killing it on the resource gathering. So you gotta remember to go to the left this time. I keep on wanting to climb up the, uh, the ladder the wrong way. Let's see here. So then we're gonna go... I'm gonna 
face this. I have to do another ladder at some point. Because this will lead up to this area. Oop. Okay, come on now. Oh, jeez, old Pete's. There we go. Yeah, I definitely need a ladder. So where's that one at? That one's the far side, so we'll do far side again. Yeah, I, I probably should have built those banners. I could have added those banners uh, to the tops while I was up here, but you know what? We'll get it. We'll get it another time. Which resources and materials are you looking for? Um, just kind of stuff for sandstone at the moment, but I think we're good on the materials, to be honest. Because I was going to say, I think, uh, I think Ninja was killing it on the materials. Yeah, guys, I'm, I'm liking this look a lot. And you know what? We're going to have to go, oh wait, no. Yeah, we'll leave all this open. No, we could leave this open too. We can build our door here. Yeah, I'm really liking this, guys. I have 40k stone on me if you want that. Jeez, oh, Pete. I was going to say, we'll definitely have enough to build an entire city with that. Like, holy cow. Speaking of dinner, I need to eat. Yeah, you know, I, I did all that stuff before stream. I had a million gift cards to Domino's, so I ended up getting Domino's. And, like, I'll tell you what, they have, like, the best Philly cheesesteaks for, uh, like, a fast food joint. Those things are just incredible. All right. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Look at Ninja trying to save his base right now. Ninja, I'm, ju I'm just telling you, we're just going to have to go through. We're going to have to tear it all down and get it rebuilt uh, on the same grid. That's kind of the plan. Please tell me it's okay. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> Everybody's going to feel sorry for him. I, I will help you rebuild your base. I will help you rebuild. I promise. I was going to say, I don't want it looking super jank. You know, we're a build channel, so it has to look legit. I think everything being on the same grid would be perfect. Rock Island Games, love your builds. Did your Tower of Orthanc on official? I, you know, I just got the build piece count for that as well. And it was a lot more pieces than I was expecting. But, uh, but I do appreciate it, man. Uh... Like, you know, I, I say this a million times, but uh, I do it for you guys. As long as you guys are willing to watch my builds, I will uh, continue putting them out there. Where's the exit? Ninja has left the chat. <laughs> I know. I kind, I'm kind of feeling bad for him right now, too, as well. But uh, to be honest, I think, I think it has to be done. I think we have to do it. Look at him. I think we have to do it, Ninja. I, I hate to do it, but... It's something we're just going to have to do. More than I was expecting to. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. All right. So there's that. So I guess while we're waiting there, uh, while we're waiting for Ninja to tear his base down, we can kind of figure out what we need to do for... Uh... I was about to say, I'm like, why can't I place stuff there? Uh, for our workshop build, but uh, basically what I'm doing is I'm I'm building outwards. I'm using these foundations to to where I can keep uh, the build all on the same build grid. Yeah, I think this will work. Now I just gotta remember. I gotta remember how I built how I built it. That that's gonna be the thing. Uh, where's the exit? It'll be better in the long run, Ninja. You're the hero right now. Yeah, to be honest, I, I think it will be better in the long run. Like, I know it's a bigger base, but, like, with us being all, you know, all on the same grid, it'll look more organized and everything. I, I think it'll look, I think it'll look good in the long run. I, I, I'm kind of with you on that exit. 
He's still contemplating over there. Oh no, I feel like a jerk right now. This is not good. All right, let's see. So what do we need here? So we got this, and I remember there was a three by three tower. The back of the uh, the workshop build. So this will be that right here. Uh oh, out of stone again. Yeah, this is definitely gonna look start looking like a city. I'm liking it. Yeah, I just can't wait to get this workshop rolling too. This will be so nice to have because I I can double up like the furnaces and everything. I think this is two. I think this is right. Yeah, because then it goes back two. Because this is where like the stables were. And then it goes like this. Yep, that looks right. That looks right. Ooh, who do we got here? Oh, they're, like, all decked out. Uh, where's that chest? Uh, the chest is gonna be in my house. Uh, if you, if you go into the house and take a right, there's chests that are unlocked. Yeah, I left the front door open for you guys. Oh, we got more people in here. Oh. Yo, yo. Dang, you guys are, like, you guys are decked out. And you, you guys might max the chests as well because they were they were pretty full. So if, if if you guys run out of space, I can make some more chests and I'll just throw them outside to probably make it easier for you guys. Oh, there's the invite. See, Barden, have you got the perk that allows you to run even when overburdened? No, because my attributes are just horrible. My character layout is terrible. So I have to redo that at some point. But, uh, yeah, that, that's something I thought about. Because when I looked at that perk, I was like, man, I wish I had enough points, you know, to, to do that. But that's, yeah, next time I next time I reset my character attributes, that's I'm, I'm definitely going to do that. All right, so now we got to do the pillar trick. And we got to place our pillars. This is going to be a pain. Especially doing this legit like, especially for a build like this. Let's see here. Oh, wrong thing. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I think we're going to do the same exact workshop build. Uh, yeah, that'll work that I did the other day ago on stream. I don't know. It, it looks so nice, and I think that'll look so nice with uh, with this build anyway. Oh, more stone. Uh-oh. We got people that are stuck right here. Sepamiru 2.0. Yeah, that's kind of this is kind of what it's reminding me of. You know, once we get this stuff cleared up and Ninja gets his base and everything on the same grid as this, this will look really nice. I left a bunch of stone for you over here. I just put a, a chest over here. I had to build it outside of your area. Oh, that yeah, that's cool. That'll work. See, invite them to the clan, LMAO. Oh, did I, do I need to invite the other one to the clan? I don't know. They didn't say anything. Or did they? You're going to bully me pretty hard for my ugly base if you ever visit the mounds. Oh, no. I probably will. You know, who is that? Gordon Ramsay? Where he goes in and he just like completely craps all over like other chefs. That's gonna be me with builds. No, I can't, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. I just I'll, I'll I'll avoid the mounds. I promise. I'll avoid the mounds.
Let's see. Which button? Nope. Here we go. Probably gonna get over encumbered. Was gonna do a Stygian village around my palace. Oh well. <laughs> Hmm, okay, have you got the Midnight Alchemist recipe? <clears throat> I have not. I have not been that far. We really haven't done a whole lot. You know, I've done a couple of dungeons, built a couple of things, got my base destroyed a little bit, but that's pretty much been the extent. Uh, I do have a pretty sick trophy wall. I've, I've spent a lot of time gathering uh, gathering heads for my trophy wall. But, yeah, other than that, yeah, I don't, I don't really have much. But uh, I'm guessing that's probably what I need to reset my stats. see major time for me to go i have a few questions to ask you about this game hit me up later when you can awesome channel i appreciate it, major yeah i'll uh, i'll hit you up on uh either steam or discord uh when i get done streaming if you if you guys are still gonna be up lol ramsey on conan it's not all cohesive you donkey <laughs> oh man yeah you know that that would be that would be the idle job, just going and just being just a complete like dope to people and just making millions of dollars. That'd be the dream job. Do you want to? It's not really a far away trip from where you are, and will allow you to craft the potion to respec. Yeah, that would be something that I'll probably get. I I, I want to get this this build done. Uh, this stream so we can do just like more stuff uh, in the future and like I said so the base is also good to go if we get another purge and everything because I think it'd be kind of cool if this get, got another purge defending it that'd be awesome <clears throat> let's see yep we're gonna have to delete these I think I almost got all the uh, the pillar placement down I think this is it. These last two. Oh, you know what? I, there, there's a corner I got to do inside. But for the most part, yeah, most of this is, uh, yeah, that'll work. We are somewhat close to another purge, by the way. Yeah, we, we are close. I don't think it's going to hit tonight, though. I, I think it'll hit another night. Oh, you know what? I got to place one here as well. Dum Dum Pots are just Yellow Lotus potions. Cheap, dirty, total reset. Oh, yeah, and I was going to say, I, I think I even have Yellow Lotus as well stashed in my uh, in my chest. So that, that'll be, uh, yeah, that won't be difficult at all. Yeah, probably tomorrow for the purge. Yeah, you know what? And you guys always miss the purge. Uh, well, you know what? No, because, well, yeah, I was going to say, because right now with the purge settings, I have it to where a minimum of four people need to be on to trigger the purge. Just because for how much we got crapped on the other night. That was just crazy. That was just super crazy. I, I don't know how how anybody could fight, you know, a, a rock nose that powerful. Because it's like, oh my goodness, we are so screwed. Alright, yeah, that'll work, I think. Next we go here. And then, yeah, back here was like a little, little back entryway type deal, so... We can go, uh, let's see, put the door, Oop. and Oop. there we go, all right. Okay, so now, minimum of, of for four for purges. Oh, that's cool. Won't hear any complaints from me. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It, it seems like every time that, you know, it hits, it's always my base. That's why I'm kind of like trying to get this done tonight because it's like I have a feeling it's going to be my base again. And it's like, ah, I don't want it to be my base again, but if it if it is, I at least want to be prepared next time around so it doesn't get damaged. But we've we've lucked out for the most part to where my main house hasn't been hit, but everybody else's houses 
They've been they've been damaged slightly. Oh, you know what? We have to put another one right there, I believe. Oh, more stone. Yeah, having all this stone helps out greatly to where it speeds the process up. You guys don't have to watch me grind for, you know, resources and everything. Let's see here. Let's see, is Ninja still trying to figure it out? Oh, no, he is getting it on the same grid. Nice. Heck yeah. I was going to say, Ninja, if you want to, uh, like, add, like, the flat top to kind of match the architecture as well for the, uh, the city, that'd be pretty cool. And if you don't have the, uh, the arcane sandstone stuff, uh, I can replace, like, windows and doors with the arcane stuff to make it blend in as well with, uh, with the, the style of the city we're going, going with at the moment. You should start a interior decorating company. I'm doing the deco on my place, and it's and it is turning it off. And it is is that a bad thing? Is that what you're trying to say? You're doing interior decorating, and it's turning it off. Am I reading that right? I would say Des does a really good job at interior decorating. I I, I utilize her. She's she's decorated a couple of my builds already. I feel bad because I, I kind of take advantage of her services, but uh, she's just that good of an interior decorator to where I'm like, I have to. Oh, nice. That'll work. That'll work. Nice. All right, so I think it's three that we go up here. This goes up to here. Two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, guys, I'm excited. Like, our base is starting to look like a city. This is going to look so cool when it's done. I was going to say, if you guys don't know, but Ninja is also a builder. Ninja's, Ninja's legit. He's, he's, he's a really good builder. Um, me and him did a, uh, a build together a while back. You guys may have seen it. It was the, uh, uh, the medieval tavern and theater build. And I absolutely loved how that turned out. All right. Yeah, I'll be so happy to have an actual functional workshop in the city. I can get all of that crap moved out of my house and actually start making it look like an actual house. <laughs> Let's see, and I think I think we did the archways for here, right? I'm pretty certain we did, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I had some frame frame rate, so something must have disappeared. Ninja did it. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud of him. I, to be honest, I have no doubt that his that the the, the new uh the new building uh, based off of the grid itself will look legit. Oop. Yeah, I'm excited. Our base is going to be is going to be awesome when it's done. So I think the stairs, I think the stairs go up this way, right? So let's see. So we're going to have this facing out. See, the buildings will always get damaged heavily as tier one is meant to be built 
around river. The purge difficulty is split into three tiers. Tier 1, around river and south. Tier 2, most of middle of the map. And Tier 3, the northlands, north of the sand region. Yeah, I think we're in, like, the Tier 2 area. Because, I, you know, and I would hate to see what a Tier 3 purge uh, looks like. Because the one that we got with the rock nose was just ridiculous. I was like, I don't know how we can we can survive, you know, holding off against, you know, Godzilla, essentially. Let's see, I need more wood. Let's see here. Uh, you know what? I don't think I need all of that at the moment. I think a thousand will do. But probably should grab a thousand uh, stone because we're definitely going to need that. We'll love to join Barden's server and see what he think of my builds. Well, I was going to say, have you, uh, you've posted in my Discord, haven't you? Yes. Hello, I have an elephant for you. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and, uh, oh, that works too. And this time I realize this is an elephant and not an elephant head. So I will get this yes, one placed. Yes, it is an actual, an actual elephant in this uh, size of your pocket, I guess. I appreciate it. Hey guys, You're I have welcome. an elephant in my pocket right now. Oh god, that you know what? Ignore I just said that. That just sounded that just sounded very, very bad. <laughs> Ignore I just said that one. I'm trying to keep this PG in here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is gonna be so awesome, guys. You know what? Let's delete this. Yeah, we're just gonna go just like that. That'll work. And we can do like the sign thing above. Okay, so this is gonna all face to the right. Yep, I'm liking it. We get, and at some point, we could do like a sign or something. I don't know why I'm like touching the screen like you guys can see me touch the screen. We're going to do a sign like right here on the wall. Just uh, signify like this is going to be like the workshop area. But uh, I really like, really like how this is turning out. Let's see, I remember there was windows here. There's this. And everything goes to towards my house. Let's see. I love the arcane stuff. I have Vanberg Castle on Sipta and Arcane Stone Brick. Yeah, if you guys aren't part of my Discord, post that stuff in like the fan builds section because I absolutely love seeing what you guys come up with. And uh, you know, in you know, believe it or not. You guys inspire, you know, me when it comes to some of my builds. Like, that Namidian castle uh, that I just recently put out, uh, I seen a build done by Gnome that he was working on, and it, it gave me some ideas, and in, in ultimately it turned into the uh, uh, that sandstone castle. So, you know, who knows? You know, maybe one of you guys posting something might give me an idea or something to where, you know... Uh, you know, that gives me an idea for, you know, a sick build or something. But uh, if you guys aren't part of the Discord, there's a, uh, I have a link. It's on my YouTube channel page. You'll be able to find it. Can I get this all? Oh, let's see. Yeah, we're almost there. Perfect, but yeah, we're gonna need the torch Let's See clip it Barden hiding an elephant as well. Oh, geez, so please. Don't clip it. Don't clip it. I, I Want to get popular for the right reasons. I don't want that to go viral. <laughs> 
A tier three purge can just fart in Sandstone's general direction and it's gone. Yeah, you're probably right. That's what worries me. That's why I think, because like I don't think I can hit, get hit by tier three. I think tier two is the most that can hit this area. So I, I think I'm good on on uh, at that uh, uh, part. See, there we go. Oh, you know what? And we got to add in. We got to add in these things. Because our furnaces are going to go right underneath them. And then we'll just kick the, all that crap out the back end of the, uh, the build. Let's see. Got to put up our fence. I wonder what it is for wall painting. I don't even know how to craft that, to be honest. Uh, that's not what I want. Let's see. Crafted at a dyer's bench. Oh, we got to build a dyer's bench? That's going to take some, some resources. I don't even think I have one of those pre-built already. I am re-downloading Discord right now. Perfect. Yeah, like I said, you know, I would love to see your guys' builds. Oop. Here we go. Yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. So this is going to go... Oh, out of stone again. Out of stone again. If you want to have a better defenses and not rely on others to come and help you, I guess getting a few Chimerian Berserkers or Thralls in general, decent ones like Relic Hunters. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to do something like that as well. Uh, just for base protection. Because I want to have like a, a legion of, of just dudes just to completely smash whatever, you know... Whatever the purge decides to throw my way. Okay, we got plenty of wood. But uh, yeah, that, that's on my list. Maybe that'll be next. You know, cause now that I actually have a base, I'm definitely going to have to go thrall hunting. But what, what I'll probably do is we'll stop by Jingui's base and we'll, we'll rate his base and give him some pointers like he requested. And then while we're there, you know, I'll extort him for like a steel truncheon. And then we can use that to, uh, to go and uh, get a bunch of good thralls. So that, that, that's probably going to be the plan. Or Leon or Janos from the Nordheimers should improve your chances of getting on unscathed. Yeah, and I know where. I think it's, uh, it's yeah, it's, it's one of those two. Because I remember one of them spawns, like, always in one of the camps uh, right by the aqueduct. Because I was, uh, oops, see, I can't remember which way we're facing. So we're going to face it this way. Because uh, I normally build, there's like a little hill that I build at. Right by the uh, the aqueduct, uh, it's just east of of where uh, right up to the mountains. It's it's actually where I built uh, Kaya's uh, medieval castle. I love that that area, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's Janos is the one that spawns just right up the hill from there. Let's see, do we have? Oh, we don't. Oh, oh well. Close enough. Close enough. Let's see, we'll have to put... I also like to show my outfit designs to make other characters from other games. I've done Siri, Princess Leia. Oh, Princess Leia would probably be hilarious. And multiple Assassin's Creed characters. Yeah, I've seen the Assassin's Creed ones. Uh, one of them ended up beating me for that... Uh, that costume design or that fashion thing or whatever the heck. I wasn't even going to do it, but I'm like, you know what? I might as well. But, uh, yeah, that Assassin's Creed one ended up getting first place. But that one was that one was pretty legit. I'm not going to lie. All right, there's that. And then I think this opens up to here. 
Oh yeah, because the ladder goes up in this room. I remember now. It's like, I know I just got done building this not too recently. Or, actually, it was recently. It's like, I don't know why I'm forgetting. But yeah, the ladder goes up to the next floor. And then over here, we have a bunch of windows. Let's see, let's wall all this stuff in. Leon is the thrall you're talking about. Berserkers and Leon responds every... Yeah, and you know, and I also like uh, the Huntress. Because there's two of them that spawn down by the aqueduct as well. Because, like, that's why I, I... Oh, you know what? Here I am talking and not paying attention. Um, building in that spot on top of that hill. Like, I could farm uh, Leon and, uh, and the Huntress, like, all day. And, like, that's what I just populate my defenses with were just those thralls. Because they were just so easy to get. But they turned out to be pretty legit... Uh, Pretty legit thralls. There we go. Perfect. All right, so now everything's going to face... We're going to do this on top, right? Okay, so yeah, that's facing that way. Okay, why won't... There it goes. It's like, why aren't you rotating? Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of room inside this base for, uh... For all of our crafting needs. I ended up doing just, like, a quick decoration the other day, and I was like, oh, man. I could definitely, if, if, if I really need to, there's a bunch of stuff I can just kind of cram-pack into this base to make it work. Ooh. Thoughts on their new game, Dune? Um, you know, let me catch up on chat real quick, and I will get to that. Because uh, I got, uh, I definitely got thoughts. Definitely got thoughts on, on that game. Del Delincia Snowhunter is over that way as well. And I heard that she's like one of the strongest ones too. I don't know where to find her though. Let's see, well, the number of followers is usually limited. Would need to check in your follower tab uh, what it is set. Now, after the 3.0 nerf, it's normally to level and gear them out, or they'll be squishy. Yeah, I, I think, you know, I could have up to two followers, depending on perks. But when it comes to the amount of, uh, of uh, thralls that I can just actually just kind of have, you know, around the base, I can kind of set that number to whatever I want. But, uh, but yeah, I definitely am going to have to train my thralls once, uh, once I get them. And I want to get that authority build so I can actually... Uh, train to at a at any given time let's see yeah no sorry guys i'm kind of ignoring like the actual in-game chat at the moment <laughs> you guys keep on talking i'm having a hard time keeping up let's see i usually just farm sorcerers and buy thralls with the coins yeah that's probably what i need to do i keep on saying i'm gonna do that but i always get sidetracked you know See, she can be found in the undead mound. Okay, I gotcha. So yeah, I know where that's at. So is she just like out walking around like right where the mounds are? Is there like a specific mound I have to go to? Let's see. Can you show us on the map where you are right now? Oh yeah, sure can. So there's an, this little area right here. There's a bend in the river. And you're up against this mountain, which, you know, I love this location because if you go right across the river and right up in here, there's like a million iron nodes just right here. It's it's perfect. It's so easy. You can actually see it from here. That's where all the iron is, just right across the river. All right, so we come up here. Oh, you know what? Before I put that on, let's uh, let's add the fences in. Which way are you facing? Okay, you gotta face forward. And out of stone again. Alright, let's go run and get more. We're almost finished with this, uh... With this build, actually. 
that'll open inward. Yep, that'll be perfect. Oh, you know what? I guess I can close this door now. I don't have to leave that open. Uh, let's see. There we go. Enable that. Get a little bit more wood here. Let's see. Oh, hello. Yeah, leveling two followers together is sweet. I get them to level three and then run into unnamed city and kill everything, not three skull. High XP in there, three to 20 in about one hour in a bit. Yeah, that's what I have to do. Straight, just thrall farming and training. That, you know, that, that'll be, a, that'll probably be everything I do, with like just one stream, just like a straight grind uh, stream just to get all that out of the way. But, uh, so, so somebody asked me about my thoughts on Dune. And like right now, I'll have to see more of it, but... At the moment, I am not. I'm not a fan. Um, just, I'm. I'm not huge into the the futuristic stuff when it comes to survival games. Like, I love the medieval aspect, like the hack and slash with like sword, bow, and even a little bit of magic. Like, I don't like when magic is like completely overdone and it just doesn't feel realistic. Um, but uh, yeah, the the space stuff and like, like one of my favorite things about Exiled Lands is all the biomes. You know, you got like the desert biome, highland, snow, volcano, you know, uh, jungle. Like there's a bunch to look at. And with Dune, you don't get any of that. It's just going to, I think it's just going to be strictly just like the desert stuff. Now, I, I said it on another stream, like the way they could fix that is to where like you could fast travel like to other planets, but I doubt that's going to be a thing. That'd be cool if it was, but uh, I don't know. I just... I don't think I'm going to like it. And everybody's saying that uh, it's also going to be more like RPG based rather than survival. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about it. They're adding some like RPG elements like like uh, uh, already pre-built bases and stuff. And I, I don't know. I, I, I'll have to see more before I can, you know, get a better uh, opinion on the whole thing. Because they, they haven't put out a whole lot, you know, about that game anyway. Oh, you know what? We almost forgot. We almost forgot these bad boys. There we go. Yeah, that was like the perfect... The perfect location, to be honest. We lucked out on that. Yeah, I can't wait to get, like, the flags going and, you know, all the, uh, uh, all the wall decals. Like, this is going to look so good. What you building? So, I'm working on that workshop that I built on stream the other day. Because I'm tired of, like, having my house... Just be a complete mess. So, like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna probably move everything over into this uh, this new build. But uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm working on at the moment. Oh, geez, oh, Pete's my torch was out this entire time. Here I'm burning up stuff. I was gonna say I talked Ninja into taking down his base, and now he's building it on the same grid, which is gonna make our uh, our uh, our city look even that much more more better like I, i'm excited to see what this is going to turn out because so far it is it is turning out really really good looking the torch will turn itself off soon yeah exactly exactly and then it's going to disappear and then when i'm going to need a torch i'm not going to have one that's exactly my luck Do I got it on the other side? Pretty certain I got it on the other side. I probably should have checked that while I was over here, but I wasn't even thinking. Sneak back here. That's all good. Yep, that's all good. Perfect. So that's good. 
That's good. That's all good in there. That wraps around. Okay, so that needs to wrap around here. This comes over like this. I do got to do a strip up there too, but we'll get to that here in a, in a minute. Oh, we got to open those windows too because it's preventing us from, uh, from placing our wall rim up there. I got to delete that cactus. I'm tired of that clipping through the wall too. Let's see. Let's place this wall rim while we're, while we're here and I don't forget about it. All right, now... Open up these windows so we can get this uh, this wall rim placed. I'm sorry to say, why aren't you opening? Okay, so that's open, open, open. Yeah, that looks good, guys. Let's see. Doug, I build a lot in my own game. Is this a server I can join? I would love to help build stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, this is a private server at the moment. Uh, I am opening it up to uh, to you guys, though. Uh, and, you know, like I said, the fastest way is just to kind of get to know you guys. Uh, you know, people who, you know, post in my Discord and, you know, just kind of keep the whole thing, you know, going. Those are the first people that I'm sending the invites out to. So, you know, I'm, I'm constantly adding people. I just, you know, I just, I like to... To filter out, you know, because I, I don't want to have a bad apple come in here and kind of ruin the experience for everybody. So, you know, once I get to know you and everything, uh, you know, like I said, I've been sending these uh, these invites out like crazy. So, yeah, guys, I'm liking, I'm definitely liking how this is turning out. And this will look so cool once it's, uh, once it's decorated because we'll have to put, like, you know, more flags and everything, you know, there. But uh, having, you know, I don't know if I want the door here or there. You know what? We're going to change it. We're going to add the door here. Oh, we need wood. See, does cactus give wood? I really hope cactus gives wood. Because we're totally killing this thing back here. Because I'm tired of it glitching through the wall. Oh, that's not even my axe. Let's do the axe. Oh, it does give wood. Excellent. Not a whole lot, but I think it's, uh, I think it's enough. I guess I can go back into third person mode again. I keep on forgetting because I'm so used to playing in first person. Yeah, let's open it that way. That'll work. Yeah, we'll do like a sign or something right there. But yeah, I really like how that turned out. We got to get rid of this stuff too. We got to move this in a, a better location. Is there a way I can take pics of builds in game? It, it depends on uh, what platform you're playing on. If you're playing on PC, if you hit like print screen on your keyboard, normally it's like PRTSC, uh, that'll take a snapshot of your uh, of your screen, and then you can just like copy and paste it into like a, like Paint or or something. Uh, but when it comes to like Xbox or PlayStation, I know for Xbox you can take the the screenshots. I don't know how to do it on PlayStation. I haven't played Conan on PlayStation, so I'm not familiar uh, on that end. Maybe the general macro for screenshot. Most depressing sound in the world is when it's darkest part of night in game and you hear a kachonk and torch breaks. Exactly. And you don't have the resources to actually make another one. And it's just like pitch black. It's horrible. Interesting to see you build this version of the workshop without the large opening. Yeah, you know, I was like, I was thinking about it, but then I'm like, you know what? I can't do it. You know, it's... I got to close it off. So, you know, just a quick little fix, you know, just a couple walls up and boom, done, you know. So, but I, I do like how this one turned out. I'm, I'm not disappointed in it at all. And I could actually probably put a horse or something in that stable too, just kind of for looks. But uh, I, I, I do like how this turned out a lot. Oh, almost finished here. There we go. Now we're done. Yeah, there's, there's a ton of room to put all of my uh, benches. So we'll, we'll do that at some point. Uh, let me see if Ninja needs any help. Hey, Ninja, you need any help with uh, with your base or anything? I think he's mad at me, guys. He's giving me the silent treatment right now. S 
a uh, Steam shortcut for screenshots, F12. Oh, well, that's good to know. If you're on Steam, you can use F12, save you a shot to your Steam, F12. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, see, that's why I like having you guys here. You guys are just like a giant wealth pool of knowledge, you know? It's just like anything that I need just right on the fly. You guys are kind of like my Cortana. I'm your guys' master chief to your Cortana, if that makes sense. For all the Halo fans out there. I actually started doing these builds on Forge. This is how like my whole channel originally started. Nah, I'm not that motivated. Oh no. Yeah, he's mad guys. I got to apologize to him off screen. I feel bad. But like I said, I think it'll look better in the long run anyway. But we do got to clear this up. Oh, we got some. Oh, I forgot I put him in there. Oh, yeah. So I can't remember if I told you guys, but like during the purge, uh, Mr. Snuggles died. So this is going to be my new Mr. Snuggles. He's not as cool, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's see. I need a cool name for him. There we go. That'll work. Uh, we will put you in this little pen. You know, I wonder if I could put a window. Yeah, I have an idea, guys. If we put a window... Right here. And we could do the open and close thing, right? So, like, hear me out. So, I get the guy. He's a pack mule. Or, you know what? The windows need to be... Window needs to be here, right? Okay, so he's a pack mule. So we, we place him in the pen, right? And then we open this door. And we can pull from him. And then we can pull all the supplies off. And everything's right here. Oh, man, look at that. I'll probably never use that ever, but it's just cool to think of. Yeah, that'll work, guys. Yeah, that's sick. And then we could always just close it to keep people from, uh... I guess it'll close when it wants to. But yeah, that's legit. That'll work. No, Mr. Snuggles. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, that rock nose Godzilla thing just freaking, like, destroyed Mr. Snuggles. He just, it was like one or two hits, and he was done -zo. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Mr. Gazelle. So, we'll use him. He'll be our new pack mule. Drive up window in the exiled lands. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I think that, you know, that'll work. But I think we're done. I think we're done with this this build. So, I guess once, uh, once he kind of gets further going you know on his base we could figure out where we're gonna pick up the wall and we'll go from there but uh i think so far we got a pretty decent uh decent start i wonder what this looks like from the top of the hill we're gonna kind of take a quick uh quick run up here to get a scenic view of the uh of the new base because i have a feeling this is gonna look pretty legit Haha, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, you know, I just popped into my mind. I was like, you know what? I wonder if I could do like a drive through style window. Oh, yeah, guys. This is going to look legit. This is going to look so legit when it's done. Yeah, I'm liking that a lot. I guess right now, uh, while we're waiting on him to throw up that base, we can, uh, we can add more flags and everything. Can't go wrong with the banners. Yeah, we'll get the banners set up. Goodness, the amount of fun and frustration I get from building is Fallout 76. All the good spots usually taken. You know, and that's an interesting, that's an interesting game. You know, I, I think it's kind of cool that you can move your camp and your camp can just spawn in. Like, that's a cool thing. But I hate how it just limits you to, like, a specific area. Unless they change it. I haven't played it in a long while. But, uh, but I didn't mind, uh, I didn't mind Fallout. I actually had a base and, uh, I, I would always get people t asking me, you know, they'd be like, hey, is that your actual camp? I'm like, yeah, it's my camp. They're like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool because they always thought it was a uh, 
uh, like a, a pre-generated building just out in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, no, this is definitely my camp, guys. Here we go. Perfect. Hugs Ninja. It'll be okay. You can make 2.0 now. I think 2.0 is going to look better. And like I said, it'll tie into the base. Everything's on the same grid. It'll look legit. We probably are going to have to put the wall up around it because I don't want his base getting smashed by, uh, by rock noses or anything. But yeah, look at that, guys. I'm liking this. Maybe we'll put two banners above the actual gatehouse to signify the gatehouse. Just so if you get lost in this metropolis of just buildings, you know, we can uh, go from there. And I think, like, this little area will be a guard barracks. So something that Jingui suggested is every base that we have, we have, like, some kind of, like, barracks that has a bunch of beds to where, like, you can rush to the A, take control of a bed, and then have, like, armor and kits set up inside as well so you're ready to go. So that's going to be something that I'll probably set up as well. And, uh... Yeah, I was going to say, I think, yeah, I think Ninja gave plenty of room. Yeah, so I think I'll definitely turn this little area into a barracks. And then we'll go that route, and it'll be right, right in the middle of everything. But I love how this how this whole base is turning out. This is turning out so good. I wish I had the die station so I could put the uh, the paints on it, but I guess we could get that later. Let's see, what do we need for... I need two... Two red banners. Wherever those are located. Here we go. Oh, perfect. Definitely have enough for those. So yeah, we're going to place these above the gates. This is going to make it look so good, too. Actually, you know what? I don't even think I have it unlocked. Let me see here. That's not it. Uh, decoration. So there should be one with flags. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we'll just spend a point to unlock that, too. And I think we build them in here. Let's see. Oop. Banner. I think I went with the green one. Yeah, perfect. So we can build one of these, too. Throw this on the side of the, uh, the smithy building. You're kind of a suburb of the unnamed city. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. We're like the nice section of the unnamed city. Because that place is just a, a crap hole. There we go. Yeah, I'm liking this, guys. Let's see, what else did I get? Oh, yeah. I got the banners because we're going to go put these on, uh, on top of the wall. Oh, crap. And the sun's starting to go down. See if we can get up there and get these placed before that happens. And we can uh, we can chill out, and I can uh, take back a look at chat. Oh no! Here I am violating my golden rule. I released uh, my thumb from the space bar. Come on now. I hate this game. There we go. All right. So let's see. Seven. Okay, so that is. Okay, I think somebody said crouch. Okay, that looks good. Let's see, can I make the jump? That's ooh. Yes. Whew. That was a little scary. All right, let's see what that looks like, guys, cuz that looks pr that probably looks pretty good.
Oh, yeah. Yeah, guys, this city is going to look legit when it's done. Now, here I am saying I'm, I want to move up to the, uh, the highlands, but I don't know. See, I'm, I'm liking how this is looking. It, it will be nice to make like a tier three base for the highlands, but I might stay here a little bit longer. Just, you know, to kind of, I don't know. Yeah, this is, yeah, this will work. Fun fact, the dregs is supposed to be the sewer for the unnamed city. That is correct. Yep. And uh, I wanted to say the talking staff, I remember correctly, when I, when I placed it down, he ended up saying something about how they dumped his body into the sewers. And, like, that's how he came to be. And then I wonder if he'll say the same thing. Oh, I guess, guess he's done talking. No, it would be funny. He doesn't want to get put back in the sewers. That'd be funny if we just put the staff and place it right outside the dregs. That'd be... No, that's, that's mean. I ain't going to do that. He's fine up there for right now. That or I can put him in the center of like the city. He'd be like a little tour guide type person. But yeah, that's dark in here. Definitely going to have to light this up at some point. But I really liked how this turned out a lot. Alright, so I guess we can pick up this. Oh, I guess I can't move it. Alright, so we'll pick that up. Oh, we have an archer? Nice. Guess we have an archer now. Perfect. I guess he can just chill there for a minute. Let's see, return to inventory. Let's see, we're gonna... Yeah, I was gonna say, probably can't move that. We'll dismantle that as well. So that'll open up everything. I guess we can work on this, uh... This barracks while we're waiting. See, do we want to go fancy? Part of me says don't go fancy, but the other part says we should go fancy. Let's see, we won't butt this up to uh, to his stuff, but we'll come right up to that because we don't need anything too fancy. This style of build does not fit on Highland. No, it does not. Um. What I'm thinking about the Highlands, uh, I really liked how that Namidian royal uh, castle turned out. That might be what my Highlands base is going to be. I just absolutely love... That's, that's probably one of my, my favorite builds I've ever done. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it's big enough to have literally everything I need inside the castle walls itself. So I'm thinking that's probably the route I'm going to take. Make... Oh no, my torch broke. Can I repair it? I can Let's see. Incoming breaking sound. Yes. Thanks for the warning. Yeah, someone did say crouch. Me. You know, see, guys, I do read your comments, and I remember them. So, you know, I, I hope you guys don't think otherwise. I, I, I at least try to re read everything and catch it during stream. You know what would be great in Conan? Mannequins. Um, agreed. Something I've asked for. Um, I'm hoping at some point they'll add it because they finally added wall, uh, like the wall vines and whatnot. I don't know if those are available yet in the, uh, the bazaar. Those will probably be available in two days would be my guess. 
I would, oh, that's kind of cool, Dragon Ball Katana, but for 340 Crom Coins, is definitely not worth it. Um, I'd be willing to put money that we'll see the wall vines when the, uh, the bazaar resets. Oh! We have to get inside. Uh, when the bazaar items reset in two days, yeah, I'm pretty certain we'll see the uh, the wall vines. Let's see. Let's see if it freaks him out. Pick up the bag. Is there a bag? I don't see a bag. You fashionist. Yeah, but it'd be real nice if they were base game. Uh, agreed. But let's see. Right now, with the way Funcom is going, <laughs> they ain't going to be part of the base game. That Those wall vines are probably going to cost probably a thousand Crom coins. A lawn piece would be useful. Yep, I'm also waiting for wall vines. Yeah, like I said, I, I'd be willing to put money on it. I'm pretty certain... They're going to be available next, uh, next, uh, Bizarre Reset. The bag is gone now. I don't think that there was anything good in the bag, to be honest. I think, uh, if I dismantle, yeah, it was probably just, like, a couple of, uh, plant fibers and whatnot. I don't think it was anything important. At least I hope not. Because I got Mr. Gazelle out of the, uh, the animal pen. And yeah, we got to figure out where these horses are going at some point. Dang, why do I have so many torches in my inventory? I don't remember even remember making that many. All right, so now that that's gone, question is, what do I want to do for this uh, for this build? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred. Hundred dung and plant fiber. Yeah, I don't think I was missing much from the uh, from that drop. You know what? We'll probably run this all the way up to the wall itself. Yeah, that'll work. Time to build the stable. Yeah, I want to get this barracks done. Uh, actually, let's see. I don't know if Jingui's watching. Let's see. By the whoop, by the way, guys, I am in the process of building the barracks. Getting beds placed inside. Yeah, because that'll be good if this city comes under siege again. We can, uh... We can get to uh, get people out here to defend it, and if they die, they at least have beds they can respawn, you know, respawn in. Noise. I suggest guard station. Yeah, I think that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, just so we can have have the crap ready to go if we get hit with a purge. Because let's see, what is, what's our purge meter at? Yeah, our purge meter still. Is, is getting there. I don't think it's going to hit tonight, uh, but it might hit tomorrow night. I'm hoping it. I'm hoping it holds out to where, uh, where it hits Monday night to where I can actually stream it. Because like so far, I've I've missed the missed the purges because they always happen on a non-stream night. The blacksmiths would make the horseshoes, so it makes sense to me. Yeah, you know what? To be honest, and we're not even using it at the moment, there's probably plenty of space. Yeah, there's plenty of space just to throw them all in here. We'll pro I'll probably do that at some point, but I, I want to get this built. We'll, 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 we'll get this done first, and then we'll go and we'll, uh, we'll figure that out. Yeah, 
that'll work. Alright, so now... Yeah, guys, I absolutely love their new build system that they put. Once you get used to the the hammer, it, going there's no way you, I could go back to the old way. This is just way superior. I was like, whoever came up with the idea of the build hammer needs to get a raise. 100%. Right, that'll work, guys. Oop. Yeah, cause we'll only go one high. This, this doesn't have to be fancy. This, uh, this barracks doesn't have to be that fancy. Don't worry, purge would hit during six p.m. to ten p.m. You can always change the setting for purge to have meter go with at least one or two people on and then restrict the purge times uh, to be when you're streaming. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Right now it's set to where the purge won't trigger until or uh, unless there's four people online. So I, I at least got that changed to where that's, that's now a thing. But we'll probably hit the purge meter tomorrow, but I'm just hoping it won't trigger. But we'll see what happens. All right. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do some, do some decorating. And let's see. Yeah, we're just kind of making something up. Making something up as I go at the moment. This will be probably plenty big. I'll probably have quite a few, quite a few beds inside too, just so I can at least probably have like eight beds to kind of host a small army of players. It's the event that the city gets attacked. A build hammer for Ark would be phenomenal. You're right. I don't think that's going to happen. And I'm curious to see what the uh, the build uh, system in Ark Two is going to be. I cannot wait. Oh, here we go. Here's some chests. Oh, dang, that's a bunch of stone. Bonzo buddies. I appreciate it, guys, if you guys are still watching the stream. I love not having to run in cart bench to craft ladders. Yes, correct. It just, it speeds up the process so much. Like, I, I just love the build hammer. Okay, I'm in the Discord now. Does anyone have a headset wanting to chat while playing slash building? <laughs> I'll say I'm gonna let you guys do your thing on that end. There you go, something like that. Or just something basic. We could probably do thatch. Kind of off to the side. Hmm. 
You know what? I don't like that. Let's tear this down. We're just going to make this look real basic here. And we'll probably do windows right above it. Yeah, that'll work. I'm playing console and watching stream being on mic is too many tasks for someone like me. Can't walk and chew gum because I'm the type who falls up the stairs. You know, that was the, my biggest concern when it came to uh, actually streaming because I'm the same way. I just can't multitask. You know, talking, trying to remember what the heck I'm trying to build. You know, just it's just a lot going on. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, to do all this. So, like, to be honest, I'm kind of shocked at myself. Like, you know, I, I'm impressed as well because I'm like, wow, I'm actually, I'm actually doing it, guys. Like, you know, <laughs> but, you know, it's... It's it's difficult because it's like, you know, like, what do I talk about? What kind of content, you know, do I need to do? Like, how do I keep you guys, you know, interested to where you guys are, you know, watching the stream and you guys don't get bored or anything? Like, how, how do I keep you guys entertained? And, like, that was the biggest thing, you know, for me, you know, where I was like, I guess that was what was making me, you know, the most nervous and where I was getting a little bit of my anxiety because it's just like, you know, there's a lot, you know, going on and everything, you know? Uh, let's see here. Oh, you know what? We could probably do... Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's see, we're going to delete that. The guard barracks will be part of the wall. That'll work. That will work. Perfect. You do fantastic, Bard. I'm entertained. Well, I appreciate that exit. But, Barden, it must be beautiful. You're right. You're right. I was going to say, I, th I think with the, for the barracks, though, I think by default the barracks has to look ugly. So we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, man, I'm almost out of Gatorade here. I might be in trouble. See, so we got this. So now the wall... Has to go that. Yeah, that'll work, guys. Uh oh, what did I do here? Oh, I'm fucking his shit up. Oop. Well, we're gonna edit that one out. <laughs> Oopsie. I'm gonna have YouTube police on me now. Oh boy. Yeah, we're just going to kind of pretend that one didn't happen. Yeah, even though it's just an ugly square, I like it. I like the ugly square. We'll, we'll put like a little flag on it too. I figure, you know, like every government little entity needs like a little flag. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to have to put a, a roof on this too. Pretend what didn't happen. <laughs> that That's another thing that I was like, oh man, I am so afraid that I'm going to say something stupid on stream. And I was going to say, I'm going to let you guys in on a little, <laughs> the start a swear jar. No kidding. Uh, if I started a swear jar uh, and I spoke like normally, you guys would be rich. 
I got a potty mouth on me. So like I'm like, okay, when I stream, I really have to be careful to where I'm <laughs> where I'm not cursing up a storm. But uh yep, uh, from time to time those will slip out. Dropped a F bomb like right off the get go too. YouTube allows swear as long as it's not in the first 15 seconds, not frequent and not super vulgar. I wonder if that applies to streams as well. I have no idea what the rules are, but when it comes to my streams, I just keep them uh, demonetized so I don't even make money off the streams. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it. All right, there we go. This could be the this could be the barracks. We'll load it with beds and everything and we'll be we'll be good to go. You know what? We could probably add No, that won't work. I was going to say maybe we could do stairs that lead up to the actual uh the top, but that's not going to work. Let's see, we're going to drop this. Okay, perfect cuz I'll say that gives us the ability to climb. So we're going to have to place some stuff up top here. He didn't mean it, YouTube. I mean, wouldn't that be something? It's just like, YouTube's like, nope, he's done. And I just get banned. My channel just completely gets annihilated. That'd be horrible. I'm liking this. I just made a, a quick modification in Ninja's base. I hope he doesn't mind. But it made sense to me. I'm liking this, though. Yeah, this is sweet. All right, yeah, we'll probably put like a little flag right here on the corner. I gotta make another another banner real quick. Uh, let's see. I remember it was way down here. Oh, and you know what? I got another idea too while I'm thinking about it. So let's see. We'll craft that. And then I remember seeing the red awning. We'll place the red awning right above the door. That'll make it look real nice too. There it is. Cussing is good for the soul. Agreed. Agreed. I do try to keep it uh, PG in here, though. That's going to say, I, I don't want to be dropping these curse words left and right. Let's see. I wonder if this will actually... Oh, it will. Perfect. Okay, so let's see. Let's back up here. Nice. All right. Uh... Okay, now we gotta get, gotta get up onto the wall. In the instance, it was an adjective. I enjoyed the realness, though. <laughs> to be honest, I had I had no other idea how to describe that without you guys fully understanding. So I I, I think the point landed. All right, let's see. And we'll place it right here on this corner, right here. There we go. Ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, you know what? Crap. We're going to have to... Uh, we got to add these bad boys. What? Interesting. I could see that being some kind of unique... Uh, using that for some kind of unique building technique. Right. Yep, this is going to be our little barracks. 
I'll probably put like a little sign. Let's see. Do, or actually, I think I have to build the sign in uh, in here. Uh, let's see. Sign. I wonder if I have it unlocked. I do have it unlocked. Perfect. So we'll craft up one of those real quick. The point didn't land, but the F-bomb did. Boom. See, let's place this bad boy again. Let's crouch. Okay. Let's see, let's stop crouching. And the sign. We need a cool name for the uh for the city. A constable post. If you want to place a two-wide doorway in my base, it'd be nice. Okay, I'm, I'm on my way. Yeah, where do you need that two-wide? Just right here? Man, I worry about the future of YouTube, but that's a long... Correct. Correct. Uh, it just seems like uh, the more and more that they add, rule-wise, it just it's they're they're targeting small channels. Because I think right now, I think they're dishing out too much money, and I think they're they're trying to scale back on the amount paid, you know, to content creators. So normally, with all these new rules, it always affects the uh, the smaller channels. You know, luckily for me, I've you know I haven't been you know too badly affected, you know, by the stuff. Uh, but, you know, who knows, you know, because some of the stuff they implement just don't make no sense. But, uh, you are correct. That's, uh, that's a discussion we'll have for another time for sure. How do I disable the HUD for screenshots? Uh, if you're playing on the PC, um, oh, well, you know what? For me, it's F3, but I think I changed, I think I changed it, uh, in the options. Because you can set your key bindings to whatever you want it, and I think I changed mine to F3. So, I, I don't, I can't remember what the, uh the original buttons would be turtleopolis turtleberg you know i kind of like shell bridge you know because i've used that in the past and now that we got a bridge you know i think we might go with shell bridge i do like turtleopolis though that is and turtleberg is pretty is pretty good but like thing is like there's no turtles around here so it's like ah you know i would if, if there was definitely turtles that i would definitely probably say yes to that but uh yeah look at that guys that our city is starting to look like a city. I'm liking it. All right, we need to get these beds placed before. Here I am, like wandering, and I'm like, no, I need to get these beds placed. Let's see, bed. Let's see. Yo, yo. Oh, I'm drinking something. Hold on. What is this? Oop. No idea what that does, but I appreciate it. We'll give the elephant this stuff. All right, so I need beds. I keep on, like, getting sidetracked here. Let's get these beds placed bed and what's a cool guard these Nibidian ones are pretty cool yeah let's craft all six okay we're gonna need more uh more hide because i need more of these oh perfect 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 uh des moved to the highlands she has a pretty sick base up there at the moment so it, it, it's nice now because she kind of overlooks like the main road up to the highlands so uh she got like a little castle going up there, but I don't know if she has, you know, a barracks like like we got cooking. So that might be something that she might have to do just in the event her castle gets, you know, hit next for the purge. 
because I'm tired of, of my base always being the one where it gets hit. Barter Town. Shellboro. I do like Shellboro. Which would make you Master Blaster? Drink one to find out. I am not drinking one. Not yet. Not yet. I got the barracks I got to build. And knowing you guys, drinking one is probably going to be... It's probably going to screw me over somehow. So we're going to wait on that for a, for a little bit until I can at least get the barracks built. Let's see, here we go. Man, even with the sped up time for like the crafting and everything, I couldn't imagine doing this like all like vanilla settings. Like building these beds would take forever because I think I got it sped up like, like by times two. So it's like double speed, and it's still slow. Oh boy, sun's starting to go down. All right, let's get these beds here, shall we? I like it when I can fly, because this, uh, this is such a pain. Oh, here I am. Can't remember what button I'm pressing. I could fit probably one more here. Oop. Because that'll give me nine beds. And that should be plenty. I don't see us having nine people on to push back a purge. I'll craft one more. I've got a teleporter to my place above the ridge. Nice. Are they ever going to fix the trees losing their leaves in Sipta? I didn't even know that was a thing. So, I, to be honest, I, I couldn't answer that. I have no idea. No trust. No, I know how you guys are. I, I know how you guys are. Let's see. Oop, nope, don't want to do that. There we go. Perfect. What do you guys think? This is the barracks. And then in here, I could probably set up like an armory of some sort. So, you know, the base gets under attack. You guys spawn in. Everybody picks a bed. And then if they get killed and they can't get to their body or whatnot, I'll have like extra sets of just garbage that they can uh, quickly equip and whatnot to get out back out to the fight. But I'm liking it. Yeah, this will work. Why do you carry all that coal? Do I oh, crap. You know? If you want my honest answer, I had no idea I had that coal in my inventory. So we're, we're just going to throw that in there. Good call. To be honest, I don't even know what's in my inventory. I just have just so much crap in my inventory. Like, I don't know how people stay organized in this game. Because I just kind of throw just crap everywhere. There we go. We can do, like, individual stalls. Yeah, that'll work. I kind of like that. Yep, I like it. Yeah, let's see what we got going here. Yeah, on Sipta, the trees go naked. My character's face gets blurry, and the ground loses texture, and then it fixes, but it does it every so often. I wonder if that's like some kind of mod compatibility issue then. I don't know. I've never had that 
that issue before. So that might just be unique, you know, to you. Oh, look at freaking... <laughs> look at Ninja having to one-up the city. Having just like a massive tower base. That is dope looking, though. I might have to go back through and like add like like the fancy arcane stuff for like the windows and, and doors to make it even more fancy. But overall, that's pretty legit looking. If you saw my OCD in organizing. <laughs> yeah, I have none. There is... Uh, there is no organization at all when it comes to me. Like, this right here, that's me being organized. And, and at that point, I just hope that I have what I need in my inventory. Like, I don't even know what's in my inventory. I just, I just hope that if I need something, it's, it's already there. Man, I'm liking this, guys. That'll work. Let's see, what are we at? Two hours. Well, I guess. Well, you know what? I need a I need to build a stable uh thing. Companions. That's torturer. Okay, I don't have it unlocked. Cause I, I need a saddle so I can put it on those horses. And then we'll be in business, actually. Here we go. It's the rhino. I just need like a... I just need like a scout something. Well, okay, I don't know what I unlocked, but... I'm, I'm guessing I unlocked what I needed to unlock. Uh, companions... Saddler Workshop. Okay, we need leather and shaped wood. I got both. Perfect. I, and I'm bad at, like, turning my uh, my torch off, too. I'm, I'm starting to realize this. All right, guys. We're going to add the, uh, the thing in the workshop. We're going to add our first workstation in the workshop. This is actually going to go upstairs. And I think I'm going to put it in the same place that I had it during uh, my actual video. Let's see. Oh, and I could place an armorer's bench. Okay, we could place some, we could place quite a few things in here actually. How's that look? Yeah, that'll work. All right. So now, what do we need? Let's see, Argosian cavalry, Argosian scout. Let's see. Can we do something cooler than Argosian? I wish uh, the Poitain had a scout saddle. Noble, Numidian, Numidian scout. The Numidian scout might look cool. Uh, let's see what we got here. Cordovan. No idea what that is. All these require like steel reinforcements. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's layered silk and thick leather. Um, we might just have to stick with, like, a basic... Here we go. Whatever this is, Warhorse Saddle. Yeah, this is what we're going to have to do. So we're going to need twine and leather. So there's the leather. There's the twine. And then I need a crap ton of iron bars. So I need more twine and more iron bars if I'm going to put saddles on all these. And I was going to say, just because Ninja, you know, decided to put his grid... Or building on the grid, uh, I'm going to give him a horse. That's going to be my, my thank you for him making our city look even cooler. Uh, let's see. Nope, I need... Yep, we'll take that. Let's see, we'll take half the twine. Let's, let's split that. We'll put that back. And I think we're good. I think I have enough of the other stuff. Because I think I only have to make three saddles. Leaf room for barrels. Oh, I have plenty, plenty of room for barrels. Don't you worry. Actually, I don't even think I have them unlocked yet. I'm going to have to unlock those. Maybe that'll be my next objective for stream. I'll have to go on a quest to unlock the barrels. Okay, I uploaded pics of two of my builds in Discord. Perfect. Yeah, I'll check them out after stream. Like I said, I, I, I love when you guys post in there just because uh, 
just seeing your guys' creativity and what you guys come up with, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I just or I adjusted the stuff. I just was wondering if they'll fix it. LOL, thanks. Shift plus L, most things in your inventory go into boxes slash benches around you. Well, hold up. Before I hit that, let me throw this stuff in here because I'm curious. All right, so let's one, two, three. All right, shift plus L. That's the player list. I knew what you were doing. Well, yeah, I was going to say, let's see, shift L. Yeah, uh, most of it's Turtle Club members. Let's see. X is a scout saddle, but doesn't require layered silk. Really? I wonder, does that look cool? Did I just screw up and just waste a bunch of resources when I could have had a cooler saddle? Uh, let's see. Which one was that anyway? That was Cordovan. Katai. Oh, that requires hardened steel. There's no way I'm, I'm getting that this early. Yeah, I was going to say, I think just these, uh, these here that I got. Shift plus L is from Packrat Helper. Yeah, like I said, I'm playing all just straight vanilla. I figured you guys were trying to pull a fast one on me. I unironically love the sandstone set even more so with the new pieces. That's what I'm saying. I, you know, for it being so basic, just the, the sandstone set itself, the new pieces, just add so much more depth to it. There we go, guys. We're in business. We have horses. And, you know, I forgot I was going to, I was going to make one of the horses white and name it Shadowfax, but I took him out of the, uh, the pen too quick, so I guess uh, these die and I have to get another one. See, I like this one. Oop. Wrong button. Oh boy, how do I get out? There we go. Alright, let's see. Open inventory. All right, his name's going to be Horse Horse. The new pieces are so nice. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, for just how basic of a set, like, look at, like, look how awesome that looks. I was going to say, Ninja has to, like, show off his building skills and everything. But yeah, that, that does look, that does look dope. Especially with our bridge and everything coming out across the way. Let me, let's see what this looks like during the day. I think when I looked at it, it was the sun was going down and everything, and uh, you know it was what it was. But yeah, you know, sorry guys, there wasn't a whole lot that I did this uh, this stream. You know, it was mostly just building, and we didn't even finish it. I think what I'll do is I'll finish the wall off stream just so uh, next uh, next time around we're ready to go, like adventuring and you know thrall hunting and whatnot. But yeah, look at that. That looks so cool. Yeah, that looks legit, guys. Oh, well, yeah, I already placed him. I screwed that up. But yeah, uh, uh, Hamri said, uh, you die them once you have them in your inventory, not while they're in the pen. So yeah, like I said, I, I, I got too antsy and I placed them before I, I even thought about it. Horace the Horse. I do like that name too, but I think we're going to be basic. We're just going to be Horse Horse because I have a feeling this one's going to die and I don't want this one like to have a, a, a super cool name. You know what I mean? I got to uphold my reputation. I won your first contest after all. Yeah, exactly. I am probably going to be making a, some minor changes. I'm going to be adding the new and improved pieces to your build. Just FYI. Just to, so it you know maintains the, uh, the look of the city and everything. 
because I'll be adding like the wall rim and you know the rough timber stuff. But overall, I I do like how that how that turned out. That looks that looks legit. That definitely looks legit. It'll look more legit with the with the the new pieces as well. But yeah. You just better hope that we don't get hit with that Godzilla rock nose again. Because that thing was just slaying everything in its path. Put bark or fiber on the horse for self-healing. Good idea. Let's go grab some bark. Just so I'm not just standing around and just... Because like when, I, when I'm talking, I like to pace. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So if I, I don't have an objective that I'm doing, I will just pace back and forth. So... Uh, so good call, good call on the bark. We're gonna, we're gonna actually just kind of, kind of go get that right now. That's all right. I ain't buying this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. You know, if if I didn't have a YouTube channel that was purely into building, I probably wouldn't spend the money either. But you know. <laughs> At this point in time, I kind of am forced to. You know, I, I do it for you guys, which, you know, sucks because the stuff is so freaking expensive. But, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah, that should be good. Otherwise, we're going to max out on... Uh we're going to max out on our encumbrance here shortly. If you can get vines, they give 14% vitality. I don't know where you get vines at. Say, so can you make them or probably not? You probably have to find them. I do the same. I don't want to do a lot because I find it hard to multitask because I get confused and lost. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, it, you know, I've already done it already where here I am, you know, talking to you guys, answering questions and everything. And then I end up forgetting, you know, what uh, <laughs> what I'm doing. And it's like, oh, crap. And then and then I can't remember what I'm talking about. Once I remember what I'm supposed to be doing, it just it turns into a mess. Let's see. Let's split. Yeah, we're going to give you that. Oh, I have all my other horses inside the build, or in the building. Let's see. We're going to split these. These are going to be my backup horses, so they're not going to get 500 bark. They're just going to get the 250. You can craft finds in one of the benches. I think the tanner's table. Let's see. Recipe and twine. Okay, that creates vines. That creates fiber. Requires vines. No, it looks like this uh, This turn stuff, it takes vines. I don't think you can actually make vines. I could be wrong. Am I... Am I... Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think it makes vines, unfortunately. Let's see. Certain small trees have the vines hanging off them. Chat, shh. Barton hasn't noticed. Oh, gosh. What did you do? Okay, that one's named Horse. That guy's name, Darfari Archer. That one's also named Horse. Yeah, I'm lost. Vines, uh, put vines on them. For the 14% vi uh, vitality growth chance bonus. Yeah, I have no idea how to get the vines, though. You know, like, I don't know, like, which trees give them, if they, if any, or if I have to go, like, to, like, uh, the jungle area to do that. Wei Chang. What's up, man? Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Zeldin. On Exiled Lands, the only place you can get vines is the jungle, really. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to have to do. I'm probably going to have to go to the jungle, then. To get the vines. I might have to do like one massive quest to get a bunch of vines one of these days. Let's see. You get vines from the little trees on Noob River. Uh, stream. Oh, wait a second. I think I've seen some of those. Uh, 
Now here I am not going to be able to find any. I think I might have cut one down. No, maybe not. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go back down that way at some point. Can you make a quick jogging along the river and look for those small trees? Yeah, yeah, I'll run down this way. Actually, you know what? Now that I have my horse, horse horse is coming with me. All right. Well, that was quick. Already gained his first level. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, is it a sickle for vines? That would make sense, actually. The small palms. Well, you know what? I, there are some small palms back here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if they actually give me vines. See, here we go. Yeah, here's some small ones. Oh, and I hear the crocs, so let's kill these guys real quick. Alright, let's try sickle, see if that does anything. Ow! That was rude. Let's see. Totally didn't give me anything. Uh, maybe it's an axe. Uh, but that'll probably just give me wood. Yeah, that's wooden branch. Uh, maybe a pick? Nope, that's bark. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. Yeah. You need to use a sickle, though. J7 right side has a lot of aloe and trees with vines. Let's see, where's that at? That's probably close to like where my old base was. Let's see, H-I-J-7. Okay, yeah, so probably up in here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that in mind. You will see the vines hanging off them. Okay. I think I might know what you're talking about, actually. Because I do remember seeing some of those when I was running. You know, when I f first initially started, I had to run all the way up to this base. But I, I think I ran by quite a few of them, actually. The sickle will work if it's the palm with vines. Okay, that's good to know. And feedback when you have a second. Oh, Jingui's calling for the uh, the decorating expert over there. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell them. Oh, by the way, comma, the barracks in the city is finished ah too close to another thrall I hate that that's a a thing oh very nice very nice I like it I like it we'll probably have to flip these around because I like doing the dual ones like right here so that we'll get to that at some point but overall, I like that uh, my house is slowly being decluttered. This is going to turn into my trophy hall. I, I just love my trophy wall. Look at that. That is so awesome. See, especially this guy right here. I remember you. Yeah, he was, he was definitely a fight. That's for sure. All right, guys, let's see. Looks like we just passed the three-hour marker, and uh, I think we got quite a bit done today. Actually, I think next stream, probably going to go out and start populating this with thralls just so that uh, they can defend this city. Now that i got a horse, you know, we can make it up the highlands relatively quick. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll finish the rest of the wall and city off stream, um, and then when I start the stream uh, next time, you know, I'll do a, just a quick walkthrough tour just so you guys can, you know, see what I've done. But uh, we could jump right into uh, right into the next stream. I know this one was relatively boring, which I apologize for. But you know, this is setting the foundation for uh, for what's to come. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking probably, let's see, what's today? Saturday? I'm, I'm thinking Monday. Monday, 7 p.m. is probably when I'm going to stream next as long as nothing, you know, comes up. But, uh, yeah, if you guys aren't part of my Discord or follow me on Twitter, you know, I, I you know, Twitter's probably the best for notifications if I'm going to be streaming or whatnot. Well, actually, uh, YouTube, if you guys aren't subscribed, definitely subscribe to YouTube because that'll give you the first-hand update when I'm going live. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys aren't part of, you know, follow me on Twitter or Discord, definitely do those as well because I always upload pictures and updates and news and stuff on there just to, you know, kind of keep you guys up to date. Uh but uh, Discord, especially, you know, I, you know, I, I just love seeing what you guys come up with the uh, the fan builds and and just you know getting to know you guys. So you know, if you guys aren't, haven't already, definitely do that. But uh, yeah, with that said, I think I'm gonna call it for the stream, guys, uh, and I will see you guys on Monday.